I hope I did this right. bunch of more things that I can do on this thing on YouTube hey um, Mika dang it's 1300 people already I won't, I'm gonna try to stay up on it hey Lucia hey Eva Brazil love you thank you thank you Amanda hello Yvette Blessings to you as well. It's going fast. Oh, thank you, Shay. Shay Bosch. Thank you. How you doing? I know you moved to another, uh, where you moved to? It was somewhere colder though, wasn't it? I hope you getting, a, um, getting used to it out there. Hey, the J and, fa and A family. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. It's Fat Albert. Y'all remember that? <laughs> hey, y'all just came in and say hey. Thank you, Charmaine. Love y'all too. Thank you, KB. Bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. Listen, my um, my uh, my my shirt has floaties, so y'all may see floaties everywhere. It gets floaties. I mean, I'm gonna have to uh sweep my flow again. Thank you, TCJ, fam, and Simply Food by TY. I was just watching, um, I was just watching your, um, what's it, Instagram post when you was eating them grapes. I love that post. I love it, love it, love it. I'm sure, I think I, 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 I said I, uh, did, I hearted it. Hey, Commander. What'd you say, Commander? I didn't even know what Commander said. Jeez, I can't find your, your thing, Commander. Oh, I want to do a collab with you. How do I collab? You know what? I am not doing collabs right now. Y'all know how it is out here in these, uh, you know, for COVID and stuff. In this COVID, these COVID streets and stuff like that. So I'm not doing any collabs, you guys. I know I had a lot to do. And when I did do collabs, I was doing them more with the celebrities and different things like that. Because it keeps you away from all the crazy stuff. If y'all know what I'm saying. Hey, the boss ladies. Like Jones. Thank you, Nick, uh, Nick Johnson. I appreciate you. You need to come visit Northern Louisiana. Yeah, I want to come. I want to come to Louisiana so, 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 so bad. And um, New Orleans. So those are places I want to hit up. Thank you, Justin Milner. Justin! Didn't I do a, um, a cameo for you? I remember you and your brother. How you doing? How you doing? Chicky. Hey, B-Love. Hey, Nate. Hey, Chicky Chicky. Hey, Ayusha. Thank you. Thank you, Agape Love. Hi, it's Ta Hey, Pastor Kim. Agape Love. You know I be using your stuff all the time. Your, uh, the things that you gave me. Y'all, I'm still trying to open up gifts. It's crazy, but I'm going to get to it. I'm still opening up gifts and stuff like that. So, I'll get to it. Danger. I didn't. It's a lot of y'all in here. Thank you, Adrian Holmes. How's it going? It's going pretty, pretty good. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's my phone, y'all. Sorry. Thank you, Nike. Baha. I don't want to miss y'all. Um, beautiful as always, Mr. Nate. Watch out. Ah! <laughs> you 
said, watch out, huh? Yeah. Thank you. I'm going to have to talk to her later. I know my phone will probably start going on. Up and down. But so, y'all. So, what I've been doing, I know y'all, most of y'all probably don't know or probably do know, but my days that I load my videos are on Saturday, Sundays, Monday, I mean, Saturday, Sundays, Tuesday, Thursday, or you can say Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. That's the days I upload. And I'm trying to do this thing where I ain't got to eat that much because I'm trying to lose some weight, y'all. This weight thing, I'm telling you, and it's not really the COVID, it's more me of perimenopause. They say as you get into perimenopause, it see like the weight just kind of sticks on you. And it's not like I'm gaining a lot. I just got like six pounds to lose, but it seemed like I could lose the weight. And then the day later, two days later, I'm, I'm up a pound or two. And I'm just like, how does that happen? How does that work? Because I'm used to my weight coming off, boom, just like that, boom, boom, boom. But it ain't doing it at all. It ain't doing it no more, y'all. So I'm out that stage. I am out that stage. Hey, Nini's YT Life. I just want to make sure I got all y'all. I said KD, and I said, Thank you, yo girl, Miss Trees. Thank you. And KD, if I didn't get you, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. You know what? I heard that you can go, um, can you go live with somebody on here on the side of you? I saw that. I thought you could do that. Do y'all know if y'all could do that still? Thank you, the lioness. Thank you. What's that? I need another challenge so I can, I can attempt to beat you again. <laughs> Girl, I don't even have any more challenges. Listen, I am scared to do them challenges, man. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared, scared, scared. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Mugmang Mermaid. Thank you for all of your hard work, Queen B. Love you so much, God. Oh, thank you, Mugmang Mermaid. She's so sweet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you, Savory Sal. Thank you. Savory Sal. Savory Sal. I said Savory. Savory. Hi from Southeast Asia. Bru Brune. Brune? I never heard of Brune. Am I saying that right, y'all? When is your garlic butter sauce coming out on the market? Stacy, it is in production. It be going in production really, 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 really soon. I'm talking about soon, soon. Right, baby? Oh, yeah, he didn't even listen to me. They, they, uh, you know, they got to procure all the ingredients first. They got to what? They have to get all the ingredients. Yeah, they got to order the ingredients first. I already approved it, so they're working on it now, y'all. Hey, Ebony Lewis. Hello, B-Love. Me and my niece are your biggest fans. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. When we enter into menopause, our hormones stop producing, and that's where the weight gain comes from. It will sneak up on you, girl. Research female. I know! Cheryl Cross, I know. I'm just like, what? I, it, it's a shock. It's a shock to the body, for real. Because I'm not, my mom, nobody on my side of the family are big bonded. So the fact that I used, I'm used to being a small, petite girl. Well, I have been big before after I had my baby. But, I lost all that weight, and now it's like, it, it's easy to, to keep off, but now it's not so easy. It's like, I'm I, I'm getting to the point where I, if I gain it, it's harder to lose. It's just so hard, and I only got to lose like six pounds. Like, I'm a buck 36. Well, usually I'm a buck 30. Buck 30, and I go, I go fluctuate up and down probably two pounds because of my menstrual cycle, but man... It's hard out here. It's hard out here, y'all. But I can't complain. It's not that that bad. Uh, uh, hey, Catherine. I admire you so much. You definitely inspire me. Thank you, Catherine. I appreciate you. 
Artrice, you said you just had a hysterectomy and that onset early in menopause. Ain't nothing nice. I know. Listen, they even gave me some, um, um gave me some, um, sleeping, not sleeping pills. Now I ain't getting no prescription because I didn't want nothing prescribed to me. But I do have the over-the-counter stuff and it's okay. It's okay. So, y'all, I've been keeping myself busy. My hands are ashy. Keeping myself busy. If I miss y'all, I hope I didn't miss y'all. Thank you, More Flavor. Shout me out, beloved. I have a delicious cooking channel. Okay, shout out to More Flavor. She has a cooking channel. I hope that you can still do that on YouTube. Because remember, you used to get penalized for that? I don't know if they still do that. I ain't been on here for ages. That's why I stopped coming on here. TCJ, TCG fam, do big belly boo-boo pass the loaded potato challenge. It's healthy. Oh, really? Do big belly boo-boo pass the loaded potato. I'll see. Well, I'll see if I can check that out. Hey, LaShonda W. Hello from Detroit, Michigan. You had a pretty lipstick two days ago. I want to know who it was by. It was a deep reddish purple color. Oh, you know what? From Anastasia Beverly. It was from Anastasia Beverly. And it was like a deep burgundy, like a burgundy purple reddish like. Girl, I don't even know the name of it. I have it in my makeup place. You know what? Just for you, I'm going to go see. Well, I'm going to go to my bathroom and find out where it is. What's the name of it? Y'all may see. I got a lot of stuff in my. I got a lot of makeup, y'all. Let's see. Let's see. I'm in my bathroom. I'm in my bathroom. Okay, so. What makeup was that? Y'all see all this makeup? <laughs> all these brushes brush up brush up brush -a. what was it what was it wait a minute dang y'all can't even find it um Jeez Louise, where did I put that makeup? That's a shame. I know I had it. Because I ha just had it right with me. Or was I putting it on and then... Hmm. <laughs> I usually put it right back. I have to give it to you later. I can't even find it. I don't know where it's at. I just had it. I know I should have put it right back up. Or unless I put it in one of my purses because I was going out. I could have did that because I wanted to refresh. Because I cannot find it. Well, you can find it later. Okay, y'all, I got to find it later. I'm going to have to give you the name later, but I know it was from Anastasia Beverly. If you look at their line, you will see it, Anastasia Beverly. You will look and see their um all of their uh, lip. And it's in one tubes like this. It's in one of these kind of tubes with the gold around it. So you will see it. If I find it, I promise you I'll say it in one of the videos. And I hope that's the one you're talking about, girl. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. You should have stood a diamond, right? Yeah. Why it's so long? I don't know. Go do your thing. Hey. You talking to Nadia? Sorry, y'all. Wait a minute. What the 
Sorry, y'all. Lash yeah, Lashada, oh, thank you so much. Can you do more makeup tutorials, pretty please? I love watching you every day. Well, every time you load the video. Oh, thank you, Lash Lashawanda. Lash Am I saying your name is Sha Sha Lashonda? That's what it is, Lashonda, not Lashawanda. Lashonda. Thank you. Okay, Lashonda. And I'm going to try to get you that name. I don't know why I can't find it. It's probably in one of my purses I wore. Because I was trying to, you know, when you're trying to run out and you want to brush, you know, put makeup on, your lipstick on, back on. Because it be coming off. B-Love, I've been subscribed to your channel. Hey, Jaden. Since 2017. Love the video. It's my, it's my birthday. Can I have, have a shout out? Happy birthday, Jaden. That's what's up. Happy birthday. Roe Island is in the house. Hey, Rody Foody. How you doing? You guys, you do good. I, I love your, your channel. I love, 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 love your channel. Very professional. I love it. Love it. Love it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Brody C. Happy birthday, twin. We are going to try Stone Crab. Hey, birthday twin. Oh, me? Am I the birthday twin? April 2nd? When are you going to try Stone Crab? Where is Stone Crab at? Where is that? Thank you, Sharia what, Wiseman. Sharia Wiseman. What website do you buy your Snow Crab legs? I go to, you can go to Main Lobster now. You can go buy you some, um, that's where you get the Snow King Crab or Pure 1X. They also do uh, a good some good king crab or fish X. You can go there too. Um, so it's a lot of um, uh, places online. And you got to type in super colossal. Super colossal shrimp and you'll find, I mean, crab legs and you'll find them. Alice Bass, B loves, I'm glad you're here. I wanted for the longest time to tell you I tried pickles on my tacos and absolutely love it. Yay, Alice. That's amazing. I tell y'all, that, them uh, sweet pickles. On that, some tacos is amazing. Y'all have to really, really try it. Just a little uh, sweet bread butter pickles. They're very, 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 very tasty. Very, very good. You will love them. I promise. I promise. Hey, Desiree Boston, New Orleans is South Louisiana. You need to come to Northern, Northern Louisiana. We have the best food and the country count. What? In the country, country. Country, country. Okay, country, country. <laughs> Tori GTV, I love you, be love. I just did my very first seafood mukbang. You are such a big inspiration. I DM you a lot for questions, questions about you, about my YouTube. I love you, really, girl. I get so many um messages, and I don't get a chance to check them all, but you know how that go. You know, there's a lot of y'all. What? So y'all tell me, is this true that you can um? Match up with somebody in here. Uh, video, video chat. Thank you. Can you say hey to me, please? Hey, Mary Spencer, how are you? Um, Queen uh, Natural said, "When are you and your brother going to collab?" I don't know. My brother is in Milwaukee. And you know he be busy with his channel, so I'm not sure when we're going to collab whenever he comes out here again. I don't know. When he comes out here again, we will do it. Hello, queen. You look beautiful. Thank you, first. What? First class D DGZ? DGZ? <laughs> hey, chocolate girl eats. Me and Cuzzle AB met this weekend. Did it collab and had nothing but great things to say. Oh, thank you, Chocolate Girl Eats. Yes, I love Cuzzle AB, and I had a pleasure of meeting her mom at the airport. She saw me, and I didn't know. She knew who I was, and I just gave her a hug. She was like, oh, my God. I love her. Her mom is so cool, and Cuzzle AB is just cool. She is, she is really, really a great person, genuinely great person. Tina Bibbs TV. Oh, Tina Bibbs TV. Tina Bibbs TV. 
I, I think that's how you say your uh your um thing. I'm, I may be mistaken. I don't know. I did so many people stuff. But yo, Tina Bibbs, I would never forget that name. Hey, Queen, watching while I'm at work. My birthday was January 29th. Come to ATL and and let's link up. Love you, sis. You know what? I be at ATL all the time. I'm in a um. I'm in what area I'm in? Buckhead. Y'all know I got a place out there. My, you know what? I actually got to give y'all a tour of my apartment. My apartment is pretty much done and furnished and everything. All we're waiting for is my pillows and my drapery. But I, I guess I wanted to wait to the very end so y'all see everything so I won't be dragging it out. Like I'm dragging this, uh, my apartment out. Y'all see, I don't have oops, everything. Can y'all see? Did I just switch it? I did just switch it. Everything in my apartment left. But this is what y'all see. But I have so much more stuff coming. Got stuff in there. Yeah, y'all don't want to see. I got my stuff um, racked up on a candle right now. y'all more like when i'm going to my um I'm trying to fix my hair i'm sorry y'all when i'm going to my basement i was going to get a uh going to my basement and get a place where i can go sit guess what y'all our our um our um bar is getting built they started monday and building our bar downstairs so i can't wait to show y'all the finished look over there the before and after so that's exciting they come they start monday morning on the 15th and they'll be done in two and a half, three weeks. The whole bar will be completely done exactly the way I want it. And so I'm excited about that. But everything is getting done little by little, y'all. Y'all know we've been in this COVID thing and it's been a long time coming. So we'll see. Hey, Kalia. Hey, sis, from, love from Cincinnati. Oh, you from Cincinnati, Ohio? I went to that African joint and did a mook, and I wasn't a fan, LLO, but Stormy Crab is in Coleraine Township, Ohio. Did I start Stormy Crab? I thought I tried Stormy Crab. Oh, why you didn't like it? Kalia. I remember that. Did I do a, a seafood? Kalia, I know who you are. You did a, a, a video with me with uh, my nail tech. With Reese, right? Like with Sharice? I might be mistaken. I don't know. Because I be getting people's names mixed up. But the, the, the I love the um the African food. Thank you, Rody Foodie. Thank you for the shout outs, B. We are hitting 4,000 subs this week. Yay! We're going to do B Love Soft Seafood Bowl at 10K subs. Can't wait. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. And if you do, when you do uh, make the sauce, make sure you let it sit. The longer it sits, the better it tastes. So make it a day before so you can enjoy it even the better. Okay, Rody? Rody Foodie. Thank you. Is that right there? Tina Busy Will. Hit me up so I can come by. Lady C, Queen Foodie. Blessings we love. Love the look. Thank you, Lady C, Queen Foodie. Thank you. I did your intro right, Tina VSTV. <laughs> I, I know, because your name is so uh, familiar. I'm like, I know Tina VSTV. Tina VSTV. You are watching Tina Biz TV. I kept it was so catchy. TCG family, Youngstown, Ohio. We need to link up. Storming CR. Y'all know what? I have so many people that won't link up. I know. And it's COVID, y'all. I don't know when this thing is gonna be over. Y'all notice I haven't done any collabs. I have so many people that I do want to collab with. But it's hot out there. It's hot out there. 
And of course, I don't, I do all my collabs that I do do, y'all, is in my Atlanta studio. My studio in Atlanta. Um, I don't have anyone to collab with me in my home because of what happened previous, even the things that happened in the past. So that's what it is. Tina Biz TV, yes. Thank you, Tina Biz TV. Chef BC, Cherry Bliss BSG at B Loves. I received my Amazon package yesterday with my Smackalicious sauce. I'm so excited to try it. Thank you, Chef BC, Cherry Bliss. Yes, Chef. Chef BC, when you make it, I always say this, just let it make it the day before so it can allow it to sit to marinate. And if you want to add a little bit more sweetness, and you don't want to add no sweetness, don't add, add a little bit more onions. And when you a chef, you don't really have to tell y'all. You just make it to your liking, okay? That it is what it is. That's what you do. Jay, Jay, Jay Park. Is that Jay Park? For real. Hey, Jay. I can little surprised you found me on here. Zodiac sign. I'm a Pisces. I'm an Aries, but I really do love Pisces. My best friend is a Pisces. I have a, I get along with Pisces. Well, I get along with everybody. I ain't even lie. I get along with everybody. Everybody. I really don't care. It's a no judgment zone for me. I don't care. I get along. As long as you don't cross me, I'm, I, I, you, I'll be your best friend. I'm going to be loyal to you to the end. Gifted of New Heaven. I received my sauce last night. I'm so excited for my birthday boy today. Aww. Your birthday boy. Your, your birthday today. Oh, Ashley, you of Aries too. Yay, yay. Ashley, oh. Well, happy birthday, gifted. Gifted of New Haven. Haven. Listen, hey, it's snowing like crazy out here, y'all. Look at this. Oh. Look at that snow. That's snowing like crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy, y'all. It's a snowstorm. Y'all want to know what? It's snowing out here, and they closed the schools, too. Stephanie, Stephanie Mim, April 1st. You an April Fool's, baby. You an April Fool's, baby. For real. So, y'all, what else? I was like, oh, I'm going to say thank you, guys. Thank you so much for, uh, thank you guys so much for the, um, buying the sauce you guys are doing amazing i said one day we sold like eight thousand packets of sauce and it's still going you guys are still purchasing the sauce y'all the sauce is on sale on amazon um up until the end of this month we're trying to get the inventory um going because we're going to be being, being prepared for the garlic butter that's coming thank you keisha keisha i hope it's keisha d boys d boys I hope I'm saying that right. Hi, B-Love. We love you. My daughter, Peyton, has been watching you for years. She is going to be upset that she missed this. Aww. I teach medical billing and coding, KMD Educational Institute. Okay. Okay, girl. I know that's a lot. I know that's be strenuous in front of that computer like that. Keisha, thank you so much for the... Um, the, the Z Monet, where's my cup? Hey, B Love, thank you for the shout out on my cup and thank you for using it on your recent post as well. You're welcome, Z Monet. I really appreciate you sending me the cup. Girl, you know I like anything bling. Anything bling bling. And you did that, girl. You did your thing. I'll be everybody be asking about that cup for real. They'll be like, dang, girl, where you get that cup? You can you can see it a mile away. And you know I love my bling bling. So I hope, I hope people been going to your um site checking it out. Uh, Dayuma, Dayuma, I love you, Bethany. <laughs> Y'all know my, my, my brother called me Bethany. I love you, Bethany. LL, stay safe out here. Thank you. Dayuma, I hope I'm saying that right. Lorraine, Kabbalah, hey, be love. I love your channel. And just letting you know, you are the most beautiful and most loving, inspirational woman I've ever Watch and enjoy the mall. Oh, thank you, Lorraine. That was very sweet. That was super sweet. Thank you. Kezia, always look nice. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank y'all so positive. Hey, B loves. I'm a huge fan. Thank you, Rob Squad. Rob, Rob Squad. Who is that? Faith Squad. Y'all know Faith Squad. She be on here. I think they be saying Squad. Hey, Tisha. Hey, have you tried the hot bread and pickle? The hot bread? Hot bread? Hot bread. Mm -mm. Hot bread and pickle butter pickles. From where, Tisha? I ain't heard that one. Y'all, I ain't never heard that one. Hey, Rose. Food challenges. The real... The real lady, Red ASMR. How you doing? I gave you a shot. I know you're so pretty. I know. I know your face. I know your face, and you wear the red. But you in ASMR videos. You do ASMR videos with no talking. What did you say? Oh, let me see up here. Love you, B love. Thank you for being you. Oh, thank you, Lady Red. You guys go check her out. Check her out. She's beautiful. Hey, Niecy J. Hey, B Love. I love your comment, your content, and you as a hardworking woman. I'm in LA and would love to meet you. I'm 24 and would love some advice. Okay, Niecy. I used to go to LA all the time, y'all. But y'all know it, it got bad out there in the COVID thing. I was when I tell you but it's only like 60. we were in LA every other day every other week we were there we lived we were there we were flying from la to new york to atlanta back to ohio we were everywhere y'all we were everywhere but okay and then here we go ziggy eats that blouse you are wearing is everything, and thanks for the love and positive vibes you always bring to the Monk Bank and the Mystery. Thank you, Ziggy Eats. Ziggy, Ziggy, Ziggy. I love your name. Your channel's name, Ziggy Eats. Thank you. Y'all, this blouse is not nothing you want to eat in. So I have to wear it today, and it's a crop top, too. It's a half top, but it is one of them blouses that you cannot, you know, y'all see all the stuff shagging? Shiggy shagging. <laughs> I still have to do this. <laughs> Look, this is the type of stuff that this is a perfect to wear when it's snowing like that. I feel like a crisp, like a snowing, like something snowed on me. Like I got icicles hanging from my uh, shirt. It sheds though. <laughs> uh, what's the girls' games mobile? Have you ever thought of making your own makeup? Mm, not really, y'all. I'm just not a makeup. Y'all know I don't know how to put, I don't know how to do makeup like that. So I never thought of really making my own makeup. My, my, I just think about making things like cooking things and stuff like that, but not never the makeup. Cause I guess I like to stay in my own lane, y'all. Cause the makeup thing is not too much going on in that area for me. Dzab, hi B love. Why are the Smackless sauce packets smaller but cost the same price? They're not smaller. They're the same price. The the now the mild is smaller. The mild is a little bit smaller by ounces, but that's cheaper. If you check the price out, it's cheaper. And then you have the um, spicy is more, and that because the the mild, all I did is take took it take out the spicy um seasonings and then we made sure the prices we reduced the price so check that out again check it out again dzab because i'm for sure i did that you look at the prices on amazon go check it out um shay lodge i'm in jersey now and it's amazing here just getting used to the snowstorms oh you gotta try one of my wing recipes i know you will like it oh yeah i love wings i probably would love it S spot, S pot. You're the reason I was inspired to start my store, the Sexy Swan. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder. 
poop was in the sexy swan. Wait a minute. Did you send me something from the sexy swan? No, I even got stuff from some other people. You're not the one that sell the soaps, are you? Are you? No. I think I got something from, that's probably what the sexy swan. Was it? I don't know. Did you send me something, sexy swan? Hey, Reborn! Hey! Reborn Artist Lifestyle, y'all. Go check her out. Hello, hello, hello. Girl, how did you find me here? Where do you be Reborn? Are, do you ever sleep? Do you sleep? This is a true Aries hustler. This is the air. That's in her blood. She works, 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 works. I thought I was a workaholic. This woman is on Bigo killing it. She's on Facebook killing it. She's on YouTube killing it. I don't even know what else she's on. Probably Twitter, TikTok, and everything else. I need to get some steps from you, um, Reborn. Help me out. Help a sister out. Becky, love you. Love you. Love the sauce. I try to watch your videos while I am eating supper because I get hungry in summer. It's coming. Aww. Thank you, Becky. TCG fam. You should try my dill pickle wing. Ooh, that sounds good. Recipe, you will love it. Dill pickle wing recipe. Wow. Now, I ain't never heard of no dill pickle. Have y'all dill pickle wings? But this, it sounds good, don't it? Make your mouth want to pucker, pucker, pucker your lips. Yeah, that sounds good. Is it all, is it, you have a recipe on YouTube? Let me go all the way down. I'll answer you, go all, I'm going all the way down to the comments so I can see your, if I use tags. Yeah, it does sound really good, T. Davis, don't it? Lexus. Hey, Lexus. What did Lexus say? Hey, girl, say it back. <laughs> hey, Lexus, I said it back. Lexus Shanice. Shanice? Oh, Chef uh, BC and Angie in real life. Hey, daughter. Aw. I guess they know each other. Kyle Wallace. Hey, B-Loves Life. I'm... From St. Louis. I would love to do a seafood boil with you. Oh, Thank you. I know, I know, y'all know I can't do seafood food, seafood boils with everybody that requested. I get so many messages of people want to eat with me. But this is why I do it with um with um people that that's already, you know, the celebrities and stuff like that. Because I ain't gotta choose and pick, like, okay, I'm gonna have you and not gonna have you. Because I don't know everybody, but the celebrities, I know them, it's more safer. You know what I'm saying, y'all. I know it sounds crazy, but it is Hey, cooking with Dee Dee. Hi, I always wanted to try your sauce, the spicy one. Is it really spicy? If it is. I will try them out. And also, you look so beautiful. Thank you, Cooking with Dee Dee. Um, the spicy is not spicy to me, but you know what? You can't go by my slice meter. That's what they said. But to me, some people say it's not as hot as they thought it was going to be. It's not hot to me, but I feel that if you want to do the spicy, Dee Dee, you could do it. But just use half of the seasoning pack and just, and then it won't be as hot, you know. And use one stick of butter and maybe use two sticks of butter. You don't have to use the whole pack, especially if you only eat cooking it for yourself. But the longer it sits, the hotter it gets. So I'm just going to let you know that. But no, too. Also, it's on sale, half price, up until the end of February. On Amazon, that is. Did you bring hanging the lights? Girl, what you get me hanging? It's not, it's not it? That thing's huge. So it's too huge for that? You got to take it back? I'm going to need two people to lift that. No, it, it fits the room perfectly. I was talking about this. She measured it all out. It's perfect for that room. Is it cute? Yeah. It's enormous, though. I've never seen it like that big. But is it going to fit that table like that? It's going to fit. She it's going to look nice? She said it's going to look beautiful. Okay. That's what she said. Okay. You going to get the man hanging? Yeah. I, otherwise, I would need a, a certain hand because it's that big. Oh, man, it big. is snowing so bad out here, y'all. Let me show y'all my smooth people. Y'all, this is crazy. 
Look at that snow. Whoa. Becky Botello. I had salt and vinegar wings on MG. Yes, my cheeks are puckery. <laughs> I know, girl, the salt and vinegar is the bomb, Becky. I love salt and vinegar. I always did that at Buffalo Wild Wings. TCG fam said, yes, I have a tutorial recipe up for the dill pickle wings. Wings, my favorite food. Oh, good. So is it it's TCG fam. Y'all probably can go there and search. So anybody, y'all, y'all want to go see the dill pickle wings? I'm going to try it. I'm going to see. I'm going to look at it to see if I can find it. Because I'm going to try to, if I can do a tutorial on it, try to do it on my cooking channel, I would do that and give you a shout out TCG fam. Because that sounds good. It sounds very, very good. Uh, do, Die Uma, can you send a shout out to my five-year-old, Nyara, 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 don't wait. Oh, yeah. Nyare, okay. She is watching you right now and loves you. Okay. Is this Nyare, baby? Baby. What'd you say? Nyare. That's what she said, Nyare. What's up, Nyare? Y'all, I'm just trying to show y'all. I hope, um, I appreciate the support, Nyare. She's five years old. Y'all see my snow? Look at all that snow. It is coming down. Who else is getting snow like this? And now y'all know all my background, my backyard trees is gone because we're getting all my swimming pool installed this year. Oh, oh my goodness. Baby, how many inches they said we're going to get? I don't know. I got ice out there. Snow, I mean, There's ice? Rock salt, so. Is it working? Mm-hmm. Shoot, for all that stuff. I won't be shoveling. I'll be out there rock salting again. I ain't shoveling. Oh, you shoveled already? Mm hmm I shoveled yesterday. Is everything closed? Shoot, Cincinnati be closing everything out here for a little three inches of snow. That's so wild. Closing the schools and everything. Talking about something, we can't open the schools. It's too much snow, it's too much. Folks need to take a visit to Wisconsin, stay there. No, Wisconsin be like. Three feet, two yeah. feet. Yeah. Overnight, two feet overnight. You in Ohio? Latrice, okay, it's someone out there. Minnesota is cold, it's Indian, it's Minnesota, right? No. What's in that? M N the oh, abbreviation. Oh, that's I what I said. said. I thought you said Indiana, Minnesota. I'm in Ohio. Ohio. Minnesota. That's Miss Graham said it was um cold. Yeah, y'all. I'm gonna go to Miami. I can't wait to go to Miami in a couple of weeks because y'all, it is warm out there. I need a vacation. I really do. I need one. I need it. Need it. Need it. I need it. 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 If y'all don't know, uh, what was it? Who is it? If y'all don't know Tyler Perry, class reunion, class reunion, y'all ain't gonna know what I'm talking about. Let's see. Yeah, I'm calling up my guy. Oh my guy. She said, "Oh, TCG fam said try her dill pickle soup too. Dill pickle soup." All I heard was TCG. No, I'm laughing. You said that. Baby, dill pickle. Would you eat dill pickle soup? Uh, it may be good. I don't like pickles like that, you know. I love pickles. So, you know, my husband don't like pickles like that, but I bet you if it's savory and, and very, very good, I bet you I'll... Listen, I'll try anything, especially when anything that's like a dill or sour or, you know, the vinegary taste, puckery, puck your lips. Hey, the I Love Lisa Michelle Show! Ladybug. Hey, Ladybug. Thanks so, so much for that awesome shout out. My husband and I love you and they always thank you. Okay. Her and Carl, it's like, it is Carl, right? Yes. You guys are amazing. I love you guys. And I love your work ethic. Girl, you don't stop. You is a hustler. You like, I'm going, 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 going. I ain't going to have nothing stop me. The I Love Lisa Michelle Show. 
She called everybody Ladybug. Ladybug? I wonder if you got ladybugs all over your house, like, la you know, figurines of ladybugs. Do you like ladybugs? <laughs> all things, hey, all things Sonya Line. Hey, sis, love you guys. Y'all know all things um, Sonya Line. It's Sonya Lene. I'm sorry, y'all. I always get that wrong. Sonya Lene. She said everybody always say line. It's you got, you got to look at the little thing over the E. Sonya Lene. Okay. Anyways, I did a uh, what you call that? The song association, y'all. And of course, I jacked it up twice. Jacked up. I don't even know what happened. Listen, and it's crazy because I guess when you're on a timer, it makes it surreal. Like, your brain go mush. Like, I don't know. What the heck? But if me and my husband, we were sitting up there talking and we are listening to something, we will know what that is, know what that is. Girl, it's crazy. That's what, I guess I'm not that person that takes, uh, you know how people take uh, tests and they're, um, when they get in time with a test, they don't do really, really well. But if they're not timed, they tend to do better. It's crazy out here, y'all. Patina, um, we're trying to get it in the U.S. right now. We are, they are, my husband's working through that, trying to get into the United Kingdom on that, in that area, in that, re that region. And we're trying to go through, I don't know what he's trying to go through. I think they want the um, ingredients and different things like that and every ingredient. So he's going through the process right now. So we're trying to get it over there to the UK. Okay. We're trying, we're trying. <laughs> oh, Kyle Wallace, you 15 years old. I love you so much. I love the way you eat. I'm 15 years old. Oh, 15. I remember when I was 15. I was. I remember when I was 15 and couldn't wait till I was 18. Now I'm 40, finna be 46 and can't, I want to go back down to 15 again. <laughs> No, I'm just playing. Thank you, Bernadette. Thank you. She said she loved my sweater. Yes, y'all, this sweater is, ooh-wee. This bad boy, you can't eat in it. It's certain things that I cannot wear while I'm eating. Because this right here will get sauce all in it. I'll be dipping, 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 getting sauce all in it. Am I missing y'all? Hey, Cheeky Pie. Ooh, Cheeky Pie, I love that name. Love you, Mila. Thank you. Thank you, Cheeky Pie. Cheeky Pie. Cheeky, Cheeky Pie. Life of Lomax. Yes. He always doing them crazy challenges and always beating everybody. Hey, glad to be watching you. I've been in the hospital with very high blood pressure recovery now. Enjoy watching. Aww. Life of Lomax. I would definitely be praying for you, for you to have a speedy recovery. High blood pressure. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't want that. We definitely don't want that. Be love, you're on your way to 3 million, sissy. Yes, the I love Lisa Michelle show. On the way to 3 million. Oh, life of Lomax. I feel sad. Bad for that. So that means you probably got to change your eating habits, try to do something different. I'm going to tell y'all, when I first started doing this YouTube thing, y'all remember I used to do challenges and used to do like uh, wings and things like that and White Castle challenges and oh, y'all, it was bad. I was miserable and you trying to digest that stuff, you cannot do nothing. It's like I had to stop doing that and that's why y'all see me eat, be eating mostly seafood. I changed to being mostly pescatarian because that helped me with my diet and helped me be able to maintain my weight. I started losing weight, started maintaining my weight and everything because after that, it was like crazy. And sometimes when I eat now, sometimes I, like if I eat something that's really, really like I just ate the, uh, when I ate the Sonics. I had to eat that. That was my only meal for that day because, man, you have to watch what you put in the older we get. 
It sounds crazy. And I know y'all think that when we're doing these mukbangs, we got to have a lot of food in front of us because that's what the thumbnails requires. Sometimes that's the only way people going to click on a thumbnail. You can't have this little video plate in front of you telling my son, hey, a little plate like this, telling my son, yeah, hey, y'all, click on my video. This is my thumbnail, piece of chicken in your hand. That ain't going to work. So, but we got to do other things. That's why I'm trying to do other things to, like, offset like i did a cleaning video you know i do videos of opening gifts i did a makeup video and it's like it's okay it doesn't matter what views you get on it because at the end of the day i know my views come from my seafood boils and different things like that but i would rather watch out for my health and everything that's why you know i cut back down to four days instead of doing seven days i could get more money but really what's important you gotta weigh it out you know what i'm saying and I do want to be here for my family. So I do other things on those three days. And I make my other money up from sponsorships, brand deals, doing things on the side that makes me money. You know, doing other contracts and different things like that. So you have to... And then, of course, my sauce is making my money money. You know what I'm saying? It's making the moolah money. So you got to do things to make other products and everything. While you have this platform, just use it to the best of your ability. But make some wise choices so that you will not, you know, get an early grade. Be in the grade early. You don't want to, you know, lose your life doing something. I love what I do, but I still have to be cautious of what, how I do it. Uh, Charletta, be the hope all is well. Do you mind blessing my cash at hard times this month paying for my bill? Y'all, it's too many people that be asking me. Bless them, bless them. But I get so, 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 and I cannot help everybody. I know people, I know people think that I'm supposed to just, just I, it's so many people that DMs me, emails me, and I just can't help everybody. Everybody's going through, has been hit. Everybody has gone through hard times. Somebody just reached out to me, and, and you know, recently, and people want me to put their, cat, their, um, GoFundMe's. Of course, I can't put GoFundMe's out and shout them out as well because, I am a brand, I am a business, and when if I do it for one person, a lot of more other people are going to want me to do it for them. If somebody is scamming, I don't know, and I can't look out and say, you know what, somebody scammed you, and I didn't put it on my channel. So I have to be careful in all areas. So I'm just going to be honest with you. That just is what it is. But I do understand a lot of people have been going through hard times. Everybody has been hit. Whether you've been making money or not making money, everybody has been hit in some way, one way or another. Jessica, my mom watches your YouTube channel. She loves you, and her birthday is on Saturday. Do you have any locks to give away? No, I don't have any locks to give away. Yeah, I know the um. Usually, what I was used doing was doing the twenty five hundred dollar give. I was doing giveaways here and there, but you know what? I the reason why I really stopped. It's like people are very unappreciative. Some people that I do when I do my giveaways it's almost like people complain a lot so what i my husband said we were going to do is start doing our giveaways on our private on my private facebook um live chats and stuff like that because i want the people that support me that really support me to really be able to be blessed by me instead of those that don't really really support me don't really really love what i do or whatever to be blessed by me other than those that are trolling me or saying something i'm not doing enough i'm not because people don't know my what i do they don't know what i give they don't know exactly what i'm about you know behind closed doors so i'm not gonna try to explain to them it ain't my you know it is what it is miss katrina g hey miss katrina g that's a good idea Long time no see. I know you still in you still in Milwaukee, so you I'm sure you'll see Walter out there because he's out there um too again. I, I don't know how long he'll be out there because he's supposed to be moving to Vegas. I don't know when. Be loves you and your son. It's funny. I be laughing so hard. Yes, Kyle. My my. Darius is, a, is something now. He a trip. Darius is in his second year of college. Finishing up. Sophomore, y'all. Can y'all believe he's in his sophomore year? He is doing his thing. I think he got 
well, he got until, what, April or May of this year, and he'll be done with the sophomore year. And he's going to be a psychiatrist. He's hanging in there, y'all. He's under stress. That's why he hasn't been loading as much as he could, but he's going to have to get on it because he don't need some money. Because that boy like expensive things, y'all. And he, I'm paying all his, well, y'all know, we, we paying his tuition and everything, but he like expensive stuff. To keep up with that, he has to do his stuff. He do make his money. To keep up with them designers he like. Queen L.E. Hey, Queen. Y'all go check our channel out. Hey, hey, I love the snow in your background and backyard and your home is beautiful. It snowed here for one day. I ordered two of your sauces. I hope you have a great trip. Thank you, Queen L.E. Yes, y'all. I know the snow is beautiful when it does fall. However, however, it is not, uh, it's not good when we have to, you know, when you have to shovel it. Shovel the snow. Yes, Savage Beauty Ways. Darius is a whole mood. I love his energy. Yes, he is a whole mood. The boy is cuckoo. Yes, cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. I think all of my family is cuckoo. In some way, one way or another, Zaddy, what y'all want to call him, Dalvin? Dalvin is cuckoo. Darius is cuckoo. And Nate is cuckoo. Yeah, all of my family are a little cuckoo in them. Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Oh, you in Kentucky. Yes, Lady K, you're in my, that's, you my neighbor. I'm in Kentucky all the time because I'm always at the airport. If I'm flying out somewhere, there I'm in, I'm in Kentucky. You know what I do? I want to go to, what's the lady at the seafood restaurant in Kentucky? Um, I suppose I link up with her. But she, I think she was uh, closed one of her shops and she was opening another one. But then COVID hit. So I don't know how it's going with that. I forgot her name. Seafood Lady. Yes, Seafood Lady. Yes, we be, we be going back and forth on uh, Instagram. I'm like, she's my neighbor. I should have been hitting her up first. But I, we could never, ever connect. And we was trying to connect. And I said, I got to get to her. I have to represent. You know I got to represent. She next door, right next door. Real girl chat with Kiana, Kiana, or Kiana, Kiana, or Kiana T. Advice for YouTube starting. Oh my goodness, I could tell you a lot, but my advice for if you're new to YouTube, I would say, I would really say. When doing YouTube, stay true to self. Stay true to yourself, number one. Number two, stay consistent. Number three, don't allow people to get you out your character. Stay away from gossip. Stay away from it. Have a positive channel. Um, always, you know, present a, get a, you know, have a positive energy. I also would say have a strong support system because you're going to need it because of people and or some people the trolls out there to be able to handle and protect your energy and everything like that like me i have a therapist i talk to people i you know what i'm saying so i've really really learned how to ignore people and know that i don't need my validation from people um and you gotta know who you are as a person so once you know who you are stay true to self don't let people change you and don't focus on the numbers don't focus on the numbers just go with the flow and you will be good okay also meet some amazing people out here angie in real life face squad hey hey face squad is she in here face squad squiddy squiddy squad She's in Kentucky too. She's right next door in my neighborhood. Thank Marie, Maria, Elena, Devo. Um, the lashes. These are ooh. Where did I get these lashes from? Y'all, I have no clue. Mm, mm, mm. I get so many lashes. I got so many lashes. I I don't know. I think some of them I order off of Amazon, but I think um I don't even know what these are from. If I know, if I'm gonna say it in one of my videos if I find out, okay. 
S Pot. I'm not sure my marketing team handles everything. LOL. I offer beauty enhancement products and sexy outfits. Oh, okay. Okay, your marketing. Okay. I don't know. You probably did send me something. Do you sell soaps? Um, just just ask me at the bottom. I can see you. You don't have to do another super chat. Cause I, if you if you um respond to that down there, I'm gonna see your 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 um your uh note. But yeah, do you do soaps? Cause I thought I had that. Sauce girl world is she on Bigo? I don't know. Kyle said, "Be love you so tiny." I can't believe this. Woo, child. They seafood doing good on you. <laughs> yeah, I am tiny, y'all. I'm 4'11". I'm 4'11". When people see me, when people see me in person and I'm this short and this little, they be like, no way. No way you're not that little. No way you're not that small. They think I'm that short. I'm 4'11". A buck, 35 or 36. You know, that's very, very little. I'm very tiny, y'all. Very tiny. But I'm active. Hey, Miss B. Love, we love you so much. The galleys. Hey, Miss B. Love, we love you so much. You inspired us to open our channel. And also, we are so grateful to have, to have, grateful to you for posting our KFC challenge on your page. Oh, I did? I don't even remember, but I think I do remember. Wasn't you what, with, with the kids? I think I do remember. Kind of vaguely remember. Oh, you're welcome. You're so welcome. Hey, Reppin' Time Fitness. I take it you have a fitness channel? Fitness? Which I need to get on that treadmill. Thank you, Precious Green. I try to, y'all, have a great personality. Or, you know, a positive. I promise you, y'all, I try to surround myself with positivity all the time. Because when I leave this house... I'll be seeing some of y'all out there when I leave this house. I mean, I think in the mask will cover me up, but no. They see Nate, and somehow they know B-Love is somewhere in here. B-Love is somewhere, and I see y'all out, and I'm, I'm appreciative of y'all, and I got to have that energy. I got to have that good energy. Uh, Stephanie said, hey, B-Love's like, where's my Darius at? I love y'all for real. Your videos make me laugh and hungry. When I'm sad, aw, keep up the good work. Thank you, Stephanie. Yeah, of course, y'all. I, I have my, my good days and my bad days. I have the up and down, in and out days. Y'all see me. Sometimes I'll, I'll be on my videos. I'll be stuck. I'm in a whole new world than I ain't. Then I say something goofy. Then sometimes I'll be in a real goofy movie. And I'm like, girl, why would you say that? Why are you saying it like that? What song is that that you just made up? Lisa. Lisa Thomas. I am also 411. LL Shorty was my nickname in school. Girl, Lisa, girl, my my nickname in school was Half Pint. That's what they called me, Half Pint. And I was on the cheerleading team. I was like mad, girl, walking around with my little cheerleader skirt. Thought I was cute. 411, this short, walking around the hallways. <laughs> they sizing me up. Hey, Yumika Holloway, my five-year-old daughter, Ariana, said, loves you. Can you give her a shout-out? Shout-out to Ariana. She's five years old. Hey, Ariana. I hope you're doing good in school. Good times with Grandma Lund. Ooh, Grandma Lund. Good times. I like that name. Good times with Grandma. Grandma Lund. God bless you. Love you all. Oh, love you too, Grandma. I love the grannies. I love the grannies. Tracy Clemens. Hey, Tracy. Oh, your name sounds. I know your name so well. Love you, sis. Love you too, Tracy. Wait a minute. Where do I know that name from? Do you have a channel? I know that name. F and E Collision. Check us out. F and E Collision. Go check them out, y'all. Check them. Check them out. Shola said, Shola Johnson said, yo, your, your curio is so empty. Come on now. Girl, yes, it's empty because I have stuff coming. But wait till you see the finished product. You ain't going to be saying no come on now then. You're going to be like, girl, go ahead with your bad self. 
Yes, I have stuff coming in, y'all, from the um for my curio, and a lot of my stuff has been custom made, so that's what is taking a lot of my pieces to come in. But I have pieces coming from everywhere. You got I got some I got some books down there too that I'm supposed to put in there, but I'm not gonna I'm gonna wait till my interior designer get here to put them in. But I got some Hermes. I got Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton, if you say it like that. <laughs> Anyways, I got some, you know, designer books and stuff like that going in there. So you'll see a lot of stuff, girl. My house is going to be snatched and laid, honey. No worries. No worries. I'm every bit of confident that you guys are going to love it. Especially my bar gets built Monday. I'm so excited for that. Um, DJ Gang, hey, B loves. Will you be doing more mukbangs with celebrities? Yes, DJ. I have so many celebrities on the list. Well, I had so many celebrities on the list, but yeah. But I'm having no hope. When COVID is over, you guys are gonna see way a lot more celebrities. You're also gonna see me doing a lot of more appearances at different seafood restaurants, doing um meet and greets. Because I was, um, you know, going around doing meet and greets and they paid me to be there for two hours. And you guys could come in, buy food from them, but you would be able to talk to me. And we'd be able to take a picture and meet me or whatever the case may be. We're going to be doing that as well. And also, I'm hoping to plan on going on a book tour. Because I'm probably like, I'm trying to pace my books so at a certain pace. Because I hopefully this thing be done between seven to nine months, this COVID thing. We have all of the wraps. I highly doubt it. I don't know, but hopefully. But I do really want to go on a tour. Oh, it's it's cold, Evangelist Carrie Davis. It's cold in Texas. Wow, it was just warm, I thought. They said it was warm. That's crazy. <laughs> Who is this texting me? Uh, one and only thing that says, sis, I'm in your live and you ain't even see me. I did not see you, girl. It, I think it's too many people uh, commenting. I did not see you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So sorry. One and only thickness. Hey, Shorty, I forgot to tell you I'm from Trinidad. Oh, Trinidad. Okay. Okay, Trinidad. That's what's up. Yeah, Adrian. Adrian, it's 69 degrees in Atlanta. I'm, I'm going to fly out to Atlanta. I got to go back home. See, I got two homes, so I go back and forth, back and forth. I got to go back. But, you know, I can't leave here for a couple of weeks, though. I got to because I'm getting my, my stuff done downstairs. Then after that, I'm heading out to Miami, Miami, Miami. Y'all, I will go to Hawaii. I want to go to Hawaii so bad, bad at Punta Cana and all these places. But guess what's stopping me? Because your girl is a scary cat. I don't want to get that, uh, the te COVID testing. COVID nose testing. I can't do it. I cannot do the COVID. Jane Doe, what happened to Bigo? Oh, Bigo. See, y'all. Okay, so Bigo. I probably be back on Bigo in March. That's what my contract is working out with my um company. I don't do the listen, y'all. I'm not going. I don't do Bigo. Bigo. When they hire me, I do what I need to do, and then they pay me for what I've done, my services. So, um, we've been trying to get a service right now. They're on a Chinese holiday. It's a Chinese holiday or something they're doing, and so I was supposed to do something this February, but they asked me to hold on to March. So I might be there in March, but I'm only required to be there for two hours. So we'll see. Two hours because I don't have a lot of time and they know that. They know that my time is limited because I'm working on other things in the background. So they understood what I was saying. So I'll be doing two hours with them. So I'll be back on. Well, actually I was on Big O Live like five days ago for a little bit. You would have checked in on it. Uh, Joe Berry 2010 said, what celebrity would you like to have? Um, uh, well, you know, I had, well, we had a lineup for Lizzo. I would love to have Lizzo on and she wants to come on. So we had that set up. 
Um, Bobby Brown. We had a couple more people from Black Ink. Who was that? Actually, I had to cancel hers in March. And I forgot the name. Black Ink. I had somebody else coming in. Um, I've had people from the rap game. I got a lot of people, y'all. Basically, I really don't mind who comes as celebrities. Some people asking me to get other people. I know um, more. Some people want to repeat that I've already had on the video on my um, videos that they really, really the, the uh, my supporters really, really like. So we'll see that. But I got a lot of people that DM me to be on the show. So we'll see y'all. And who knows what changes as you go? Because we trying to. This COVID thing is really crazy. My outfit is like this. I just got a hat top. I just got on some jeans, y'all. Some jeans, hat top. I ain't got nothing on. It's probably uh faded. I mean, ashy. But that's it. Jeans and a top. No outfit of the day. Like, really, I just threw something on today, y'all. Do a do something on just a top and some jeans, and I got my house shoes on. Sammy K, do celebrities pay for collabs? No, no one have ever paid for a collab in B Love's life thing. I think no, nobody. I've always paid for everything. Every time you come eat with me, is everything is on me. I pay for everything. And I especially don't do collabs. Collabs are all, especially with celebrities. Celebrities always, they have their own, um, their own, um, what should I say? Following. They already know. And a lot of people want me to eat with them. And they, you know, they love the interaction. They want to know about that person, more about that person. So it's pretty much a blessing to have them on it. And they always act, they, the most the, the 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 most thing that I love about the celebrity collabs is that they actually want to eat with me. Oh, Tracy Clemens said I'm in Indianapolis. I would I would I would be I would be your Mary Kay consultant. Is that where I know you from? Somebody gave well hit me up for Mary Kay, I think. Okay, Tracy. In Indianapolis. That's next door too, I think. But what I love about the celebrities, y'all, most of them contact me. They want to eat with me. And that is such a blessing, such a treat for that to happen. So that's amazing. But yeah, every collab that I've had, I pay for, y'all, because, um, you know, seafood is expensive. And then also I like to bless others. And that's a way of me, you know, giving back or whatever. And I know God's going to bless me anyway. That's why I'm so blessed, y'all. I don't. That's why I don't worry about nothing. I don't worry, I don't fret. I don't worry and I don't fret. <laughs> I don't, I don't have to because I know God is always going to bless me. Hey, Tamar Shen Forever. Hey, beloved, this is our Ayana and Larry from Bigo. Did you and Nate enjoy the restaurant on Saturday? Yes, I did. The restaurant from um the uh, African restaurant, right? Is that what she talking about? Ayana and Larry. That restaurant, if you're talking about uh, the, the African restaurant, we enjoyed that tremendously. That stuff was really good. I was really, really pleased with the Trinity Trinity's um, food. Really pleased. I was so amazed. I was like, you know what? For African food, y'all, y'all know I'm a very, very, very scared to try other foods. But that African food was amazing to me. And I particularly like the fufu and the soups because y'all know I'm a girl that likes to eat with my fingers. And I liked their beans and some of their dishes like that. It was amazing. I loved it. So... It was good. Y'all know what I want to try now? I want to try some um, uh, Ethiopian. Ethiopian food. I tried Ethiopian food before, but I want to try it again. So I'm going to do that probably next week. I, especially since it's Black History Month. I can't think of nothing but Ethiopian food, soul food, African food. What else is black food that we can eat? Haitian food, right? Is that good? I got to find a Haitian place out here. There is a lot of Haitian places out in... Um, 
Atlanta, but I don't know if it's good places out here. And then I don't know what's the first thing I can order. If y'all Haitian out there, what should I order from a Haitian restaurant? What I, somebody said Tom Tom, Tim Tim. Somebody emailed me something about some Tim Tim Tom Tom. It started with a T T. It said T is a T in it and a T in it. I don't know what type of food it is. It's Haitian food. But Colombian food is amazing. Okay, I'm gonna have to try that. The little blue fly. What's Colombian food? Oh, Penny West says all the countries in Africa. Yes, now somebody see y'all. I I don't know. I had y'all did school me. Y'all did school me. It was one lady that said that Africa has different national different countries in it or something like over 50 or something i think they said it was different places like ghana and different names and zumba i said okay okay i was it was some all types of names y'all and i was like wow okay 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 so but basically they have food from all those places that represent those places and i guess i didn't have one i thought african food was just african food from africa but it's not so so i didn't know that simply asmr what was my first job Bila? what was my, what was what was your very first job my very first job was a counselor a camp counselor with kids and i was 14 years old it was a summer job i love that job I, you know what y'all True fact, this is a fun fact about me. I've never, ever worked in a fast food restaurant. I never, never worked when I was in high school, except for the summer camp thing I had before I started, you know, in the summertime of freshman year, I think, or before freshman year, something like that. But that was my only job. And then I went right straight into school. And then I was a daycare owner. I just had probably, I had like, three jobs in my life. So I went went to school. My first real job was Motorola and I was making some good money at Motorola, y'all. Boom, 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 good money. Hey, Classy T, try some Belizean food. Belizean, Belizean? Belize, right? That's food from Belize, I'm sure. Okay, I gotta try that. I never know if they have some Belizean food. Okay. Anyways, y'all. I did it. I, I was at Motorola and it was in 90, in the 90s. 90, like 95 to 99 around that time. I think I was working for like three, four years. But y'all, when I tell y'all I was making good money, your girl was killing it. Killing it with the bank. I was like, yeah. And I was working overtime. That's where I met my husband. Um, Y'all know Nate. I met him. And we got married nine months after we met. So we've been married for like 22 years together. Never, ever departed from each other. But I worked there. And then I worked in um, daycare, of course. Because that's, I, have, I have a degree in daycare. But I had my daycare... I've been an owner of two daycares, running up to 200 kids, did that, and then what else happened? We sold those two daycares, and then I got into, I had one more other job, which was um, me making circuit boards for the Army, for the uh, Marines, U.S. Marines, you know, circuit boards and different things for missiles and different things like that. So I did that, and then YouTube. Got YouTube, and I've been doing YouTube since January 3rd, 2017. I've been doing YouTube for approximately four years, a little four years, and y'all still making me relevant. And I really appreciate y'all for really, really, you know, just being there for me. I appreciate y'all. Appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it. Because y'all still, you know, let me know that, be love, we love you, we love you, whatever. So I love y'all for that. I really do love y'all for that because y'all still keeping me booked. Y'all keep, keeping me booked, busy, and everything else. And I appreciate that. I appreciate the love and support. But I've been doing this for four years, and it's amazing how long my run has been because the love, amount of love I receive, you know, even down to the um, 
you know, the sponsorships, the brand deals, people are still reaching out to me. Even through this COVID, I can say I'm really, really, truly blessed. Uh, Cherie Brown, Motorola was, I think, a cell phone company. Yes, Motorola was a cell phone company, y'all, when it first happened. Remember the StarTax? The StarTax uh, phone and all StarTax? I think it's StarTax. And, um, and so I used to be the battery place for StarTax. I used to do the star tag. I used to build the batteries. I was a welder, a welder, the fastest welder, battery welder in the building. We used to race. We used to race, y'all. But I used to be on them things. But um, yeah, that's what I used to do. I used to love that job. It was easy too. It was easy peasy. It was easy, but it was good money. Goldie Locks. Hey, B love. I'm from Cincinnati. Cincinnati in the hat. I'm just saying, I did my first move on and since he cried and brought your sauce with me. Thanks for inspiring me to start my channel. That's what's up, Goldie. Girl, it, I know it's not easy. It's not easy, but it's fun. You got to make it fun. <laughs> it's fun. You, I mean, YouTube is not easy, y'all. I'm telling y'all. The people that are, are well-established, we make it look easy, but it's a lot of work. And if you never have done YouTube, you would never, ever know the amount of work we put into our channels, the amount of time we invest in our channels, time, money, um, everything. It takes a lot. And I think a lot of people take it for granted and just be like, not everybody, just some people thinking like, oh, all you doing is doing this, all you doing. But if that's what all I was doing, then you can do it too. You know, become a millionaire, become a, a making six figures a, a year if you have to, doing, you know, YouTube videos and different things like that. But people wouldn't dare to do it because they feel that this is not a real job. This is a real job. It's a lot that we put into this. And we keep on and keep on and keep on building on it and, you know, really just putting ourselves out there, building our brands and everything, y'all. This thing ain't no, this is a real job. Constantly doing different things to make yourself, you know, relevant or whatever. The Bravo Familia, am I saying that right? Hey, beloved, we love you. Thank you for being a subscriber to our channel and motivating us small YouTubers to keep pushing. We are inspired. We love you. Oh, thank you, the Bravo Familia. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. But yeah, y'all, it's not easy. And I'm sure y'all that just does it knows that. Um, it's all about the vibes. Come to Arizona for real home cook dinner in Arizona. Yes, y'all. I love listen, there is an Arizona. You know, his school's in Tucson. And I went to Arizona, and oh my gosh, y'all, it is hot out there. It is hot. But see, right now, y'all, y'all probably having 70, 80 degree weather right now. Con ending 234, thank you for the money. Thank you for the $5. I appreciate you. You didn't even say nothing. I appreciate you. Um... Kwanda Peterson, you have the best vids. Thank you. Marcio, I don't even know what you said. You just had the hand clap. Thank you. <laughs> I ain't gonna even attempt to read that. That's crazy. Chocolate ease. Hey, beloved, I love your videos. You inspired me to start YouTube. I create a sim in your likeness. Please check it out. Love you. What's a sim? A sim? Do you ever come to Columbus, Ohio? Um, you know what? I have come to, my best friend lives in Columbus and I do go out there. I haven't been out there lately since the COVID thing, but I told my girlfriend I'm gonna come out there because y'all, my car is the getting built right now as we speak. Y'all also supposed to have my car and y'all don't even wanna know the story about my car. However, my car is gonna be Finished, completed, built by March 7th. So I will have it by my birthday. And so when it's done, I told her, girl, I'm coming out there. We're going joyriding. We're going joyriding. I'm taking her out to eat. We're going shopping. We're doing all that in Columbus, Ohio, okay? Y'all going to see me. Girl's going to be out. 
driving. Oh, baby love. Did you ever want to be a part of Divine Nine? Javian? What is a Divine Nine? Y'all, I just a lot of stuff I don't know about. I am not hip on a lot of stuff. When I tell you I do my YouTube videos and I be doing other stuff, I really don't be paying attention to a lot of stuff. I don't. A different side of the story. Come to Melbourne, Australia. We and be my guest, Bethany. And oh, I want to come to Australia. A different side of the story. Let me tell you. I love Mary at First Sight Australia. I don't know if y'all know about that. But that thing right there is amazing. It comes on, was it Friday? I'm looking at the new one with the Indian guy that came on the elephant and married the other girl. I didn't know he was going to like her, but he apparently liked her. So, y'all, I'm, I'm into that. I'm into Married at First Sight, especially Australia. Married at First Sight, um, first sight Australia, the first one was bomb. That was the best. Married at first sight, I've ever seen in my life. Australia killed it. Killed it with all of the, the craziness that was going on. It had us off the edge of our seats. Like, what's going to happen? People were sleeping with this person, that person. They were swapping partners. It was crazy. But ever since I saw that show, it made me want to go to Australia. It really did. I got to see a lot of amazing areas like Sydney. I saw a lot of things that I want to do in Australia when I when I saw that. And it's so beautiful out there with the water and all and the kangaroos. I was like, drop dead gorgeous. Drop dead gorgeous, right? And I really want to go out there, y'all. Oh, let me make sure I don't. F and E collision. Forgot to say we would love to you to subscribe and give us pointers. F and E collision. I hope I remember your name. F and E collision. Okay, okay. The lion is 77. You were right. I have to start back posting. I lost 10. Oh, I lost 10 family and friends last year. So it's been hard. Oh, sorry to hear that. That's a lot. 10? Danger. Baby, she lost 10 people. That's crazy. I wouldn't be back at YouTube either. So sorry. So, yeah, so sorry to hear that. When I lost my sister, I'm thinking, like, I took a break, but, dang, that stuff is hard enough. You get a moment, you start thinking about that stuff, that stuff can really affect you. You have to really stay busy. Evangelist Carrie Davis, can you inbox me on FB? I'm on your official page. Yeah, I don't even go to FB. Can you can you email me, Evangelist Carrie? Um... Because I don't really go on Facebook like that. And now I, I, I will get lost. It will be lost. Your, your message. I will tell you the truth. What they say? What their name was? F and E collision? The lioness. I am so sorry to hear that. I cannot believe that. That's crazy. This is a collision? Oh my lord. Jesus. Jesus. Oh yeah, they did say F and E collisions. Ah, I found you. I found you. I found you. I found you. T Gary, the crab lover. Thank you. I appreciate you. You love you love crab too, huh? Yes, I love to keep crab. And it keeps our weight down. Listen, it keeps your weight. What you gonna do? I'm gonna start cooking. My husband, y'all, let me tell y'all. My husband been spoiling me this week. See, he on this little diet plan, this nutritionist diet plan. She even give him food. See, that boy been cooking gourmet. We had, what, turkey cutlets with some rice and some um, baked beans. Was it baked beans? Mm -hmm. And then the other night, I had some lentil soup. I had a steak. Not lentil soup. Lentil beans, steak. And Brussels sprouts, seasoned Brussels sprouts. And then the day, every morning I've been waking up to breakfast with bacon and eggs. Then I had some bacon and eggs with some gourmet, what is it, bell peppers? Oh, he didn't pay me spinach salads with spinach and everything. Yeah, I've been eating. But it's been a goodie. Very, very, very 
you know, nutritionist, nutritional for your body. Um, I did go down a pound from eating that. And then he gave me, we eat pears and almonds. We'll have a pear and a handful of almonds. Well, maybe I'll have a handful of two of almonds. <laughs> I eat a little bit more than him because I don't know what he do. I be like, uh, baby, when I finish eating, I'm like, baby, what we going to eat? Yeah, we had a spinach with, we had spinach with bell peppers, onions. He had uh, shrimps in it. And we had Italian dressing on it. That was our lunch from yesterday. Now he's cooking sweet potatoes. And what else? Uh, chicken breasts. We have the sweet potatoes, chicken breasts. I don't know what else yet. And we don't, we got to have a vegetable. I ain't did no video today. I ain't did no video yesterday, y'all. I ain't did no food video. Because I just ain't. Hey, Silas Mukmon. Following from Amsterdam, my friend Adrian cooking and food review have a wonderful sauce. It will mean so much for him if you try can try his sauce but you know what silas i would love to try sauce. you know what i always tell people i do not want to set them up i have very very listen when i'm doing somebody's sauce i have to tell them you have to have thousands when i tell you i'm not playing sauces available because i do not want to mess you up because if i shout you out and do a review on your sauce and you don't have inventory ready it is going to mess up your business and I am not, I do not want to be responsible for that. So I always tell people when they want me to shop, do they sauce or whatever. I don't do everybody because I know they don't have the inventory to do it. You have to be ready for the inventory. If not, you're going to be in trouble. And then people are going to be trying to reach out to you and saying, where's my stuff at? What's taking so long? And then that's going to mess up your business. That's why I be very careful of what I do. But I do know Adrian, Adrian Cooking um, Food Review. I do know him. I think there's a few people that have sauces now. Um, who is the other one? So y'all, if y'all here, go check out up Adrian Cooking Food Review. Who is the other one? Um, geez, Louise. There's other people that have video uh, uh sauce review sauces. I just can't. I get them in my head. They face in my head, but I can't think of. Jeez, forget it, y'all. But I got it's some people to have, but I just don't want to mess. Y'all, y'all get what I'm saying? Y'all understand what I'm saying? Because oh, to so eat with Philly Phil has her own sauce. Yes, it's a lot of people that's made their own sauce. And I, when I tell you that's amazing, do not okay. Yep, Chop Queen, Chop Queen. Yes, she she has. I thought she had a. I thought she has a seasoning boil, but I know she has something that she sell. Flavor Eats, of course, y'all saw a Flavor Flavor Eats. I didn't know she had a sauce. That's what's up. See, I told y'all, I it's Wani. Yep, it's Wani was one of them I thought about. It's Wani. She had one, too. Cuzzo Mom. Okay, I didn't know that. And it's a lot of y'all that have it, and I'm like, I'm appreciative of that because my thing is, I'm telling y'all, when I tell y'all that it doesn't matter how many sauces out there, it's just like ketchup. You can have several, several ketchups, all different styles, all different flavors, hot sauces, all different styles. It doesn't matter because everybody's going to taste different. You know what I'm saying? So why not enjoy all of them? Yeah, it's Wani have a sauce. I I talked to I talked to it's Wani personally, personally, but she not she wasn't ready for me to put her sauce out there because she said she wasn't ready for that big huge inventory yet. So I understood that. I got what she was saying. And some people are not ready for that because it can. You trying to get that out, it's a lot of work. Because y'all got to understand, I'm thinking to thousands upon thousands and thousands of people. Yeah, flavors by Dame Dash is a butter sauce. I did, his, I did his sauce review and I made sure that I talked to him prior to that happening. And it was a lot of work for him. Um, also, who else I did? Um, eat, eat with E. I did hers too. 
and she had a lot of people with a lot of work to do so yes and i did lips hot sauce yes so i always tell them to get it up and running before it happens you know what i'm saying i have no problem putting nobody on i have no problem with shouting people out i just don't want to be responsible if you got even y'all let me just tell you when you're selling a product from home it's not easy as people think because you can have people you know selling that product and um selling that product and if i say 1500 2000 people like that and want to order from you you better have 2000 orders ready to go because if you don't you know people gonna be on you on you on you like where's my stuff you said i ordered it then and they want their stuff right away they ain't playing no games they want their stuff uh evangelist uh carrie my email is b loves the number two cook at gmail.com b loves the number two cook at gmail.com and put in the subject area uh evangelist carry or something because i probably remember you probably by evangelist because i get a lot of mail and this is no over exaggeration i get a lot and it's too much it's overwhelming uh who said this what would i be eating later i'm not gonna eat anything later for video <laughs> I think I'm going to start recording tomorrow. I got to start recording mostly two to three videos a day. Probably not eating videos. One eating video and the other be like doing activities and stuff. Because I got to get ready for my Miami trip. And I do not do any work when I'm on vacation. I'm going to vlog my room. I want y'all to see my... Because I have an ocean view uh, room. And I want y'all to see the uh, beach from where I'm at. I'm going to show you two of the room. I'll show you two of the hotel and maybe some of the things i'm gonna vlog a little bit just vlog a little y'all know i don't like vlogging either so that's a lot of things i don't like doing but i am going to do that for you guys but today i'm not going to do anything i just wanted to chill with y'all i think i went on live facebook live last week this week i came on facebook on youtube live and then the next week i'm going to do probably an instagram live I just want to be able to interact with y'all a little bit more, which is that that's my goal to do that. Since I since I have more days off from YouTube, so I'm gonna do that. T. Gary, the crab lover, this fifty, this fifty. I don't know what that means. This fifty, no, don't know, don't know. Lady K say I'm headed back to Miami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is it? What's the temperature in Miami now, y'all? What is the temperature in Miami? Hey, Google. Why is it? Is it hey, Google? Okay, Google. Is my Google working? Okay, Google. It's not working. My son brought me a Google Google thing, y'all. I don't know what... Uh, what's the temperature in Miami? I say leave my audio book or I'm heading out. What's the temperature in Miami? It ain't telling me. She talking to me, but she ain't telling me what I want to hear. Who in Miami right now? What's the temperature in my ooh, Miami, Florida is 76. It is 76. Can I go out there? It's cold out here. It's cold out here, y'all. What's the weather out here? In Cincinnati, it's 22 degrees, y'all, and snowing. 22 degrees is snowing. Woohoo! 76 in Miami. I know Donna Smith. Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo! I want to go. I want to go. I want to go, go. Quintasia. Is your name Quintasia? 
Is that Quintasia Reed? That is a pretty name. Quintasia, I like that. Anyways, how long can sauce be frozen? My sauce can be frozen for six months. Six months. Six months and you can get a frozen sauce, six months. And if you want to put it in the refrigerator in a tightly sealed container, put it in there for two whole weeks, 14 days, and it will still be fresh. Still be fresh, fresh, fresh. And you can put it in a Ziploc bag, y'all, to freeze it if you want to. What is 16 degrees, Donetta, in Kansas City? Penny West said, negative 48 with wind chill here. What? Negative who? Is you in Alaska? Negative, I never heard of negative 48, have you? Yeah, it just means they got, they're a very windy day. Very windy. That's crazy. Big potato, I want one big potato. One bit, one. I want two. one. I don't want two. Okay. Them things huge. Mm -hmm. Them things super huge. Oh my gosh, did I miss it? Where's my? Oh, Lizetta. Lizetta. If I say Lizetta or Lizette. Hey, Miss Vila, we twin in TV mom here. Lizette. We love you so much. Thank you for loving on our twins oh you're so welcome i remember twin and tv hey sis at just oh just bambi though where's just bambi though i love her personality just bambi though she has that type of southern type of talk and she's so bubbly so i mean i just love her personality Y'all will see her. She will make the most. If you if you just like, man, I'm not feeling it today, Bambi will wake it up. Bambi will wake it up on you. Be like, she be talking about she just got that energy that she will make you want to talk, make you want to get up out the bed and get it on, you know, get to going. She have that energy. I love her. Kiki Cole, it's 72 in Texas. Who said it was cold in Texas? Teasing me like that. Tell me, it's cold out here in Texas. 72 is probably cold for them. No, 72 is a heat wave. For you. I go to 72 weather and it's 22 out here. I'll be like, oh, no, it's time to get out for summer clothes. Summer clothes. So y'all know how it is in uh, Chicago. We get we get 50 degree weather. Everybody put on their shorts. Then put on my Daisy Dukes. I'm Daisy Dukin. I'm Daisy Dukin. I shouldn't say Dukin. Oh, that, that sounds too much close to Bukin. My daddy can't say Daisy Duke. Daisy Duke. I don't even wear Daisy Duke. I have, I don't, I've never worn Daisy Duke. Even when I was in my childhood, I never wore Daisy Dukes. I just thought they were too, too short. I just thought they were too, too short. Just showed too much. Marijuana cannabis. See, I got my sauce in the mail. I brought mild and spicy. Thank you, marijuana. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Evangelist Carrie Davis said, call Google, it's 30 in, in Dallas, Texas. 30? What? How is that 30 in, in, in Dallas, Texas? But Dallas, Texas is far from Houston. It's like five hour drive. Houston is, yeah. Let me see, weather in Dallas, Texas. It can't Texas. be that much different, though. Yeah, it is. 40 degrees different from Houston to Dallas. That's, that's a big difference. That's a huge difference. Yeah, they say it's 33 in Dallas, y'all. And how old is it in Houston? What's in Houston, then? Somebody lied to me. I know you lied. No, it's 61. Wow. It's 61. They said the high is going to be 62 today. That's still, that's still a heat wave. Oh, wait a minute. They say, they say in Houston, baby. It's going to be, dang, it's going to be 47 degrees on Sunday. On, on February, Valentine's Day. But, on the 24th, it's going to be like 73 degrees. 
What's going to be in uh, Miami? I'll be mad if I go to days that's raining. Ooh, I'll be so mad. Miami, Florida. Weather. 10 days. Oh, no, we're looking in the 80s. Like 80, 88, 82, all sunny. Is Miami the summer, sunny state? No, California is. California. And California. Is it? I don't know. It never know. rains in Southern California. That's what they tell me. But I can't need You got your sauce, Nita. Nita VR. Y'all get your sauce. 50% off. 50% off. 50, 50, 50, 50, 50% 50 off this whole month. My favorite TV show, Christine. Hmm. Like right now that I'm watching, I would say, um, um, what we what, what we watch we like it real a lot, baby. The um, what is that? It's still on right now, or is the season past? Listen, y'all. So love. this is what we do. We right now we're watching uh, Married at First Sight Australia, Married at First Sight uh, the American one. Oh my gosh! Did y'all see? It comes on the night, baby. What? The Married at First Sight with the Chris. Chris and Paige, y'all. Do y'all see that? Chris and Paige. Literally, Chris, they're supposed to be in Atlanta. And he supposed to, um, you know, he worked for, uh, he got a subway, but he don't own the subway no more. Got his fiance pregnant. Y'all, it's going down. It is going down. We're watching that tonight. And then tonight, yes, yeah, tonight. So we've been watching that. That's my favorite right now. And then we're going to be watching Temptation Island. That's coming on on the 16th. Right, baby? Yeah. So Tuesday, Wednesday nights, me and my husband be glued to the TV. Tuesday, Wednesday, we're going to watch it in here, baby. Yeah. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Saturdays, Huntsville. Huntsville. Yes, f &E collision. I hope she ain't pregnant either. I thought that she was pregnant. And she could because you remember she said she didn't use any contraceptives. She said she don't have any birth control. And they did it twice. Oh, honeymoon night. Less than 12. She said, I didn't know, know this man for less than 12 hours. Mm -hmm. And they had, they was intimate with each other the night before and the morning of. And this dude told me he had a panic attack. And I was so, I felt so bad for Paige because she went in on him. She is such a sweetheart. She went in, hold his hand, said, okay, you can talk to me, baby. What is it? What is it? And this dude told me I had a panic attack because I'm not attracted to you. Right then and there. Girl, I would have got that boiling hot water that was hot and was eating for the grits. And then no, I'm swing. <laughs> but I would have been mad. I would have walked out. That was bogus. But y'all, y'all may not understand what I'm talking about, so I'm going to stop it. I'm gonna stop it right there. I'm gonna let y'all catch up because I don't want to spoil it for everybody. But yeah, Love and Marriage Huntsville. Yeah, Michelle B. That's good too. It's juicy this season because what's his name? Mar Martel. Martel. He bogus. He is so bogus. And you know what? That man know he messed up. He know he messed up. And now he's trying to throw it in her face like she didn't do it wrong. Yeah, he trying to throw it in her face. Mm-hmm. Martell is a mess, Essence. You right. Hey, Ophelia. I like your name, Ophelia. Yes, Kyle. I watched Medea. I just seen all Medea's plays. And I have been to the lot all their um plays, actual in-person plays. Well, all of them that I could afford to go to when I did could afford it, right? <laughs> all American, yes. My husband just found All American here. We watched the first, second, and third season, right? First two seasons. The first two seasons. I think we on the third season now. We got to catch up. Yeah, we got to catch up. And what else have we have been watching? Mm. Oh, y'all. Let me tell y'all. I got to watch this with my husband. Y'all need to watch this movie called I Watched This Last Night. 
all MG, y'all, listen to me. All 1,389 people right now, stop what you're doing. I want you to type this in somewhere. But y'all got to watch this movie called, I've been looking at my library, and it's on YouTube, so it's free. All ladies, all men, all partners, you got to watch this with your mate. It is such an amazing story. I couldn't even go to sleep last night. This movie was so good. It is called... Oh, gosh. It is called Stock Stock Option. Stock Option. It is a black movie that was on Lifetime, y'all. And when I tell you this movie is so good. Let me see. I'm going to show y'all it. It's on YouTube. Stock Option. You gotta watch it, y'all. Y'all gotta watch it. How does it look? Which one is it? It's stock option, y'all. Y'all gotta watch it. Spell it. S T O C K O P T I O N. This movie is so good. You have to watch it's an all black movie and it's um who playing in it? The girl that played um I forgot her name. Anyways, I can't see it. It's stock option, y'all. S T O C K. It's a very good movie. It's a black movie. It's very, very good. And it's on, it's on um, it's on YouTube, y'all. And pick the one that has an hour and 19 minutes. That's the one that goes fully through. The other one messes up, and I don't like that. I don't know. Here we go. I've had, how do I explain it to you? Stock option. It's called Antique Smith. And, and, well, no. Antoinette Smith and Tasha Smith is in it. Stock option. Go watch it. It is amazing, ladies. It is amazing, and it's free. It's free. It was on Lifetime. When I tell y'all I was up all night, I was like, I cried. It was so amazing, and it gives you a whole different perspective and outlook on just certain things. I don't want to tell y'all, but y'all, it was amazing. It was amazing, y'all. Sounds like a no for me. Baby, I bet you, I bet you, you will love this movie. And I'm watching it with my husband. He don't know, know it yet. Me, Not too so much of that, baby. I think it have a lot of salt in it. Oh, I gotta watch. Salt Remember that? Salt. No. Uh, yeah. This is, this is yours. No, it's not. You better take that stuff off. No, I mean that's that's. Uh, what is that? Oh no, that's not it. Okay. I thought you were talking about this. I no, thought that was I the steak stuff. That. No, 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 that's X out. That's, that's, mm -mm, that's don't use that. that. Yeah. If you do, just sprinkle mm -hmm. a little I bit. I ain't touching that no more. Anyway, my husband be cooking dinner for me. I'm liking this, y'all. I'm loving the cooking dinner because I, I'm telling you, I'll be the one serving him and putting it up. This ain't happened a long time. I'm like, yeah, baby. Y'all see me sitting here chilling. I got my, my legs clapped up, chopped up over here. Hubby seasoning the food. I'm going to smell some good tea. He got the potatoes on, the sweet potatoes. What vegetable we having? He I is. Know, yeah. He uh -huh. is uh, seasoning some chicken breast. They say go, Nate. Oh, you know how we do. Listen, when he in the kitchen, he think he's Chef Boardee. Don't let him be hungry. He sprinkle a little this, sprinkle that. He think he didn't did something. I do what I Because if it was summertime right now, them stuff would be on the grill. I do what I do. Oh, that would be grilled up easily. Quick, fast, and hurry. But, yeah, y'all, I'm just chilling today. I just thought I'd talk to y'all. I know y'all keeping me company. And it's when I tell you we snowed in, y'all. We are snowed in. Man, snow, we are snowed in. Hey, Bionettes. What's up, girly? Cynthia, get it, Nate. Cynthia said, get it, Nate. I'm Roxanne good. underscore 811. Hey, girl. She said, Donna said, go, Chef Boy, our Nate. <laughs> That's what uh, Miss Shelly B said to Chef Boy Arnie. <laughs> Getting it done. About to have some fun. Well, Della B said, tell to cook that 
Tell him to cook that peach cobbler. What peach cobbler? I don't know. I need to figure out how to cook peach cobbler. You don't need it because of no peach. Listen, he don't need it because of no peach cobbler. That boy probably eating that peach cobbler every day. And when baby nothing go, I hear him rumbling in the kitchen. Get some peach cobbler. Nah. <laughs> and see, this is the thing. Man, I'm not too, I don't like sweets a lot, y'all. But when I do eat sweets, I eat like peach cobbler in this house. I'm eating the peaches. He's eating the cobbler. The, yeah, the crust. Right, and that's the cobbler part. The cobbler is that the cobbler part? Girl, I don't know. That is the crust. I don't know. Ain't the cobbler part the crust? I don't know. At any rate, <laughs> I eat the peaches. He eat the cobbler. The banana pudding. I eat the bananas. He eat the pudding. Hey, that's all good. Love me some pudding. If 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 it, we have apple pie, I eat the apples. He eat the pie. Crust. It's crazy how we eat this, how, how we, we do this thing. With the wings, he eat the legs. I eat, no, I eat, the, the, drums, I eat the, the, he eat the drums, and I eat the flats. The flats. Oh, Evangelist Carrie says she loved the crust. crust Thank the you, crust. Hazy Lax. The crust in that Appreciate you. Thank you so stuff. much. The Tiffany Ray, time. my eight-month-old, gets so excited. When she hears your YouTube intro. Aw, thanks, Tiffany. Thanks, eight-month-old. I don't even know her name, he, he or she. But y'all know it's crazy how people send me things and DMs and they show me that they're cat or dog. They hear my, the cats or the dogs be hearing me say, what's up, buddy? The cat's ears will go up or you see the dog's ear go up and they will sit there and watch me. That is crazy. Or the babies will sit there at you know, and I'll be like they babysitter. I'm, I'm telling y'all, them kids be putting me on, they be keeping me relevant in this YouTube game because I listen, y'all. I never thought, listen, I'm 46 and I'm well, I'll be 46 in a couple months, but my thing is for me to still be relevant, that is hard, y'all. Y'all know the internet is made up of young ones with that energy. I'm like, whoo. But yeah, it's hard, y'all. It's hard. Um, Mario's munch time. My roommate literally sings water bread, water, 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 water bread <laughs> every day. <laughs> That's funny. Water bread, water, 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 water bread. Hey, <laughs> it's always water bread. I need some water right now because I said I was thirsty. But I only I got me a coffee. I drunk this coffee. This toasted white chocolate is yum yum. Frappuccino. It's not sponsored, y'all. It's not sponsored. But this is from Starbucks. Starbucks don't need no sponsoring. Baby, you see our Starbucks? That Starbucks be wilding out. It be so many people out there. Too many. Too many. It be too many people. Mm -hmm. Yes, we say that to water break. Yes, evangelist. Water break. Water, 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 water break. Much love from 5913. What? Oh, 5913. Okay, say, Sadie C. Okay, Sadie C. Much love from 5913. Okay, what's 5913? That must be somewhere, somewhere. I don't know what 5913 is. Hey, Gabriella. Britain, come ski with me in Michigan. Mandy, girl, I ain't going skiing. I am not doing no skiing. You said ski? I don't ski. I see people skiing. It looks so relaxing, like it's comfortable when they're going down like this. But me, I get on there, I'll be flipping. I'll have too many accidents. Oh, T. Gary, the crowd love a 50th birthday dinner pictures. We love. Oh, yeah. Girl, you was drop, drop, drop dead gorgeous. And you don't look 50 at all. You were amazing. Yes, your dress and everything. I loved your hair, your accessories. Girl, you had all the bling on. See, that was kind of bling I like. She had all the crystals on with the, uh, she had a, uh, what you call that? The crown on. They got, what they call that baby? 
Tiara. Tiara. That's what I was trying to say. Tiara. Yes. I'm, a, I'm looking at your thing. I'm like, I know that name. And I just saw your picture. I just wrote you back. Beautiful, beautiful lady. And she said she usually wear jeans and shorts and they she hadn't dressed up like that in ages so that was i bet you that was a treat for everybody to see you like that let's see the outfit of the day hey, i just showed the outfit of the day hey. i'm gonna show y'all again i love y'all because i'm showing y'all listen i got my feet propped up i got i have um i have um i just got on some black jeans y'all this is what i have on today Y'all see? I don't show my back, but this is what I got on. I topped in some black jeans. I ain't got really nothing major on. I just got some house shoes on. Hope y'all saw that. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Show my ear my See, and I told y'all I'm gaining weight, but it's not a lot of weight. My stomach is flat. I just got a lot of back here and a lot of here. <laughs> thank you thank you y'all i just got jeans on and a shirt i didn't throw nothing on it's just um uh, too too good too big <sighs> because i can't go nowhere today and i wasn't doing a video today i just came really came live to y'all today that's it who said this um uh, my twin says, subscribe to all things Reese. See, her super chat is not working. Hee hee. Hee hee. Hee hee hee. <laughs> what? Wait a minute. All things. Who is this on my thing? All things Reese. Ooh. R E E C E. All things Reese. Is this all things? All things Reese. She got two videos. Oh my gosh. I hope I'm doing the right one. All things Reese. I think I've seen her before. All things Reese. Are you ready? I've been keeping a secret. It's finally here. Uh oh. What secret you been keeping, Reese? What you been keeping, Reese? Is it juicy? Is it juicy? <laughs> Okay, I, let me subscribe. Subscribe. I'm subscribed. All things Reese. Wait a minute. Is that her? Wait a minute. It's, all, it's two all things Reese. Wait a minute. Do she got 22 videos? <laughs> Listen. Okay, which one is her? This one. Oh, this one. Or this one. Look at that all things Reese. Oh, no, you said all things R-E-E-C-E. -E -E. Okay. I'm canceling now. I don't know who that one is. Okay, but I think I've seen her before. No. Okay, I got the wrong all things. I've got her. She's 22 videos. I got you. I got the, okay. I, and one of them was R-E-E-S-E, -E -E, and then the other one was, sorry, y'all. Y'all know I'm kind of slow. It's okay, though. It's okay though, okay. What field of engineer is Nate? Okay. Um, he's an uh, electronic engineer. Once you are certified engineer, you can always be an engineer. That's correct. You're never ever gonna lose that title. And he has a master's in business. And then I have a master's in goofiness. I got it, hanging up in there. So. <laughs> <laughs> now y'all got two degrees y'all may not know i have a degree in early childhood education and i have a degree in um what about human services yeah nate is smart he is very very smart um me i have to study i'm one of the people i gotta study to be smart or study to pass a test but i do get i do tr i pass all my classes y'all I do try to get perfect scores on everything, but I got to study hard to get that. Him and Darius can read a book like this. Okay, ready to take the test. Fine. I just be like, what? 
Listen, I'm putting my stuff on cue cards. Gotta take the test. Make sure everything is right. I'm nervous. I'm stressed out. I'm in my study room all day, every night, every day, all day. And then I take the test and I ace it. And you ace it. And then so once it get out of my brain, it's done. I remember that test probably another two hours later and then I'm done. And when I go to sleep, it's all wiped away. I learned it for short term. Some people study and they learn it for long term. I'm the one short term. Because you ask me some of those same questions, I believe you're like, girl, I don't know. I don't know. Go look it up. That's what we got Google for. Google it. I don't care about getting nothing wrong. I don't care about not pronouncing anything right. I really don't care because, y'all, it is what it is. We're not going to be perfect, you know. And life is not to be that serious. You can have fun. You know, you don't have to be uptight about everything. Is my lash coming off? You don't have to be uptight about everything, y'all. It is what it is. Live your life to the fullest. And, y'all, I have to realize... I only have so many, many more years left, left, left on this earth. If you really think about it, I'm going to be 46. Dang it. If I'm blessed to be 30 more years, that is short. Even if I'm blessed with 40 more years, that's a short life. It's like I've got this much more left on earth. So let me enjoy these little 20 more for 40 more years I got left. With happiness and joy, joy, happy, happy, joy, joy, happy, happy, joy, joy. So I don't care. It is what it is. That's why I don't let people bother me. You're not going to steal my joy because I only got a little bit more time left. And I want to enjoy the time that I have left on this earth. I don't care what nobody say. I'm living my best life right now. My best life, okay? What's this name? Mario's my son. Cannot wait to make a reaction video to your garden buddy. Yes, I want you to. And when you do Mario Munch time, you send it to me so I can put it on my community post. But I think y'all, you let me tell you something. This garlic butter, it's a whole different dimension. It's the dimension, dimension, dimension. I said dimension, not dimension, not all time is y'all. But dimension, dimension, but dimension. What I'm saying? Dimension, said? girl. Oh, another dimension. I, listen, y'all, this stuff is good. Good, 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 good. You're gonna be slapping your mama, your auntie, your uncle. Don't have them around when you taste it. It's really good, y'all. It's super good. And then and I know a lot of y'all gonna like it better than I know. Y'all gonna like it. Like, oh, I like this, I like this better than the spicy and the Cajun butter. I know y'all gonna like it. So it's amazing. It's amazing. Thank you, Jasmine Collins. My ladybugs at DC Kool Aid. Oh, Kool Aid! And Lisa's in here. Hey, Kool Aid and Lisa. Kool Aid and Lisa be doing their thing. They like Lisa. They like uh Lisa the Lisa Michelle show. They y'all got that hustling mentality. Y'all don't stop. Now, you want sauerkraut or you want pickled beets? I want both. Okay, I'm gonna give a little. What you putting on? Cause we got the sweet. I'm gonna give you a little. But what are you putting it on? The sauerkraut is a, the vegetable? It's a vegetable, yeah. Oh, yeah, I want sauerkraut. And then I want some beets, too. So we have a sauerkraut. I've never heard of sauerkraut. That's what you got on your nutrition list? Yeah. We have a sweet potatoes, chicken, sauerkraut, and I want some beets as well. So that's going to be my dinner today. Which is okay with me. My husband, like, he lost weight, too. I don't know, y'all. It does make you lose weight because I guess it's the right balance of food with the vegetables and the protein and the carbs. Y'all, I don't... What they call macros? What's the macros? Uh, yes, my sauce is half month, half price this month, y'all. It is half price. 50% off everything until the 28th. This year's on 28 days, not 29 days, right? Right. This ain't a leap year. Not. So, 28 days is going to be this all black history month sale. 50% off. And y'all been buying it up. We appreciate every sale. What we said one day, 8,000? 8, Close yeah, to 8,000? 8, 
eight thousand sale, eight thousand um um units was sold. Um, I think the first day or the second day, whatever day. But I appreciate that, y'all. And y'all been buying that stuff up, and we appreciate it. We appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it. But it's been going, going, going. So that's good because we're trying to get the um, the production of the agaric butter will be going to production, and then that's going to be coming soon. Oh. And I'm so I'm be so excited for that to come. Oh. What did you put in there? Smoky what do you got in there? Um, chicken breast. Why would you put that in there? I want to see how they come out. You know what you should have put it in? The steamer. The steamer? The steamer that I have. I with ain't the... no steam chicken breast. No, it will cook in 10 minutes. Like the seafood thing. Like, it'll be crispy? No, it ain't going to be crispy. No, I ain't. It ain't going to be crispy. It's going to be like broiled. I'm air frying these. Oh, no. He air frying the, um, he air frying the, um, chicken breast. The chicken bread. Hey, Kasha K. Hey, Auntie V looking beautiful. Thank you. Veronica. Hey, Veronica. I know you. You be on there with Vigo with me. I know your face. Got my two, two sauce, two bags. Mile. Thank you, Vila. I will have mine on Tuesday. Yay. And make it a uh, day before so you can let it now to marinate. It's going to be so yummy. So yummy. You wanna do a review from your truck, T. Gary? A review? I gotta see that. If you do it, send it to me so I can put it on my um, community post. If any of y'all ever do anything that represents my sauce, I want to really show you guys that I appreciate you purchasing the sauce so that you can get your money's worth and also so I can get more. Uh, I'm gonna send views to you or subscribers to you by getting you guys views on that video so you can get monetized or maybe get um, more ads in that video so you can get your money for it, okay? Because I just let you know that you guys know I appreciate it. And I put it on my community post. Leah and Dale, I purchased my sauce again the first day. It went on sale again. I love it. Thank you, Leah. Hi, Nadal. Down. That's cute. Fish. She said fish. Hey, Soul Tea. Hey. How you doing, Soul Tea? It's Soul Tea. Hey, hey. It's Soul Tea. Y'all remember watching Soul Tea when I didn't, I didn't even have a channel? I remember the first video I watched Soul Tea. And now it was her macaroni and cheese. She did her thing on that. That thing went viral. It went viral. She that that is that video right there. You better get macaroni and cheese like that, baby. You gonna be eating good. Her and um uh Ty. Food by Ty. He did his too. Darius loved his mac and cheese. Every year he's trying to make that man's mac and cheese. Yeah, but both of them made some good. She could. She's a good cook. So T really knows how to cook. She know how to jam, slam, jam in that kitchen. And y'all saw, oh, she got her um, her flour. Do you still sell the flour, Sofa T? I know I did it one day on my video for, uh, I don't know, did you send me my other one yet? Girl, I got all of them things I need to uh, open up. I'm a mess. Y'all see all of my gifts? I still need to open up. I still got gifts, I, but I'm doing a, I'm doing a video opening. You will see one this week, y'all. I probably do it on a day that I don't post. So, but it's to give back to you guys, businesses, so you people can be able to buy your stuff. I do it for free. So if y'all send me something, I will shout your company out. But um, I got a lot more to open up, so I have made it easy on myself. So I could be. The thing about it is, I get overwhelmed, and so rather than get overwhelmed. No, it's manufacturing. Hopefully, it'll be back out in the spring. Okay, she's, she's working on it. Listen, y'all, that manufacturing thing takes a while. So, be patient with Sofa Tea. I know Sofa Tea, everything you're going through. It took us 13 months to get in production for my seasoning um, pack. Because you want everything to be right. You want everything to be, be, be professionally, um, you know, done. Some people don't understand that part, but some people don't. 
So it took us that long, but when you do sample tea, make sure you got enough because we made the mistake. We had, we had, when we started out with 20,000 maybe, or 10,000. We ordered 20. Sold out. Already. Yeah, huh? Yeah, 10,000. We ordered 20, but only 10 was ready. Yeah, only 10,000 was ready, y'all, and we sold out in like three days. The next time we put the up 10,000, it was three hours, under four hours, we sold out. And then we have to wait another six to eight weeks for production. Y'all, it was something. What about the hot sauce? Yes, Charlene. Well, we just talking about that. The hot sauce had to be put on hold because the place I went to is not does not make peppers. They doesn't they don't use peppers. They don't do fresh ingredients. They don't do fresh ingredients. So, I gotta so find we one. have to find another one because they do not do fresh. fresh ingredients so we have to go with another manufacturing company and this happens so it takes a while to get where you need to get did i see big mac in here hey big mac i wanted to do my own products but i have no idea where to start well big mac first you got to find out what product you want to do and then probably try to look up manufacturing companies like google something do a lot of research on people that make those certain products that you want to make like if you want it to be a seasoning or maybe whatever it is, the ketchup, I don't know. But you have to really, really do your research. You don't want to put anything out there. And then you, everybody that says you know how to make a product may not make it the right way. We went through several manufacturing companies before picking the right one that matches my sauce. Because let me tell you something, anything that you make at home, it's not going to be the exact verbatim thing that you make in your kitchen however you want to work with the manufacturing company that's going to get it to the closest as possible to your take you know, your taste your authentic taste you understand what i'm saying so that takes time for you to do that and once you get that person that you want to work with you want to make sure that they can handle all of your uh your set your um your units and everything because especially if you have a large amount Sometimes a lot of companies, manufacturing companies, don't want to work with smaller, smaller uh, businesses because they feel that they're not going to be able to um, handle it or, you know, keep up with it. They think it's a waste of time. But if you show them, like me and my husband have to go out right out and show them, look, we have this many people that's following us. You know, we have a following on YouTube, a following on Instagram. So that's what made them want to work with us. And sometimes they tell you you have to do a minimum of 10,000 units or a minimum of 5,000 units which going to which is going to cost the cost is going to be something i think our first cost of our production thing was a lot y'all i think we came out with like 80 80 to 100,000 cash 80 to 100,000 cash money to come up with our first production of you have to have all of that and just know that we were working with three manufacturing companies this is not you don't have one manufacturing company you have to have several manufacturing companies plus we're working with amazon so we have four companies we're working with and you have to really really if people don't understand that side of the business you know doing a product so it's a lot y'all and a lot of the stuff that we are we are going to share in our book when you're trying to do a product or you know trying to look for the right company that's going to work well with you because sometimes you can have a company you're going to have um you know all of the things available as far as uh the equipment and everything to make the product however their customer service is not that good so they're not getting back to you in a, in a, a timely manner they're not up on your, you know, telling you when you tell them that you need them to call you back, they ain't calling you back when they want to call. And that you cannot, it's like you'd rather not work with that and rather go somewhere else because they're not, you know what I'm saying? They're not responsive with everything that we tell them. You know, they're not responsive. You're like, okay, I, I called you two weeks ago and you just not come give me a call back. I can't work with that. I need you. I want you to be on the phone. I want you to do checkups on me. I want you to be able to say, okay, we get this. You need to call me back. I'll call you back. You check in on me. I check in on you. It, it is like that. It's a partnership. 
Yes, it's on Amazon, y'all. All the socks. You know, people are still. Uh, something right here. Thank you, okay. baby. I didn't even see it. People are. Uh, it's on Amazon. People are still asking me. I can't find your socks. Can't find your socks on Amazon. But y'all, pretty. We're working on getting our stuff in stores. So we have already. That's a big. That's a long process. But we're working on getting our stuff stuff in Walmart. Uh, is that all? Walmart, Kroger's. Those are only two places, right? And Sam's, right? And Sam's? No, I ain't looking on Sam's right now. I'm, I, I gotta repackage the stuff. But well, Walmart and Kroger. Right is, now. It's on the list. We've already um, put our stuff in, so we'll see. Yeah, Walmart would be very, very good. You're right. That would be a very good business move because uh, the little blue fly. Because a lot of, you know, a lot of us is shop at Walmart. That's my store even today. Walmart. Now, I go to Target. Target on a couple of occasions. Target. But Target is expensive. Hey baby, way more expensive than Walmart, so I like Walmart better. Walmart, I can find anything at Walmart. And they want Walmart, Walmart be having some cute clothes. Now Target sometimes has some cute clothes, not all the time, but sometimes they can have some things and you're like, okay, I ain't gonna find them like this at uh at uh Walmart. You know what I'm saying? You go to Target. Oh wow. Well. They but do anyway. school better though. They Target, do. Target does back to school better. Yeah, Target do 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 uh, does Prices do back to school be better, lower. but they be more organized. Target be so organized. Target is super organized when it comes to back to school, y'all. You gotta peep that out. But they prices you gonna pay for that organization. Yeah, you do. You gonna pay for that organization, so y'all. We, we trying to though. get it. We trying to get in there, and then um, I told my husband, I said, "Babe, we need to go to Shark Tank, hey, Shark Tank, so they can take half of our business." <laughs> That's crazy. You got me crazy. Y'all know Shark Tank be taking all your business. They be sitting up there. Uh -huh. Man, Shark yeah, Tank be like, I want 40% so. and I'll give you 100K to start or something. Or 50% of the money. That's the problem. Hey, man, dude, you kind of take everything. I'm like, nah, dude, I'm out. I, I, I'm, I'm straight. I'm good. I think I can see me and Nate walking out like, peace all out. Right, I'm in. <laughs> peace right, out. We're going to do this on our own. Um, do I buy in bulk? No, I don't buy in bulk. Don't buy what, in bulk? what? Oh yeah, what do I buy in bulk? What? What's your <laughs> What's the question, Mo Cash? I like your name, Mo Cash. Mo money, mo money, mo brother. Is that true? Mo money, mo problems. I ain't experienced that. Mo money, mo problems. I ain't experienced that. I guess it's all about if you want to make a problem. Target has cute home goods and kids adult clothes, but they're expensive on health, beauty, and the groceries. Yes, KL, you right about that. That's why you have to pick. It's like... Like pick and save. Right, like pick. pick. Don't save, I ain't going to repeat that. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Uh, your girl, Naya. Thank you. I love you so much, too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Seafood or veggies? Oh, Mo Cash, you guys can go buy see I buy I buy seafood in bulk and I do buy I buy frozen veggies though. I love veggies. Oh y'all, when I tell y'all I love veggies, I can eat a bowl, a big bowl of steamed veggies, broccoli, or steamed carrots with uh peas and the you know the medley. Oh my goodness, mixed veggies, I can eat that big bowl. Oh, and I'll be so satisfied with but I gotta have some butter. I gotta have some seasonings. And I do put, let me just say, I put a little tad bit of sugar in it with seasonings. I know it seems like unhealthy, but it's so good. So good. Y'all, it's so good. Mother Daughter Duo. I like that. Mother Daughter Duo. Hey, B Love, my mom watches your channel and loves you so much. Can you please shout her out and encourage her to start her own YouTube channel like that? Like been telling, like I've been telling her, her name is Lovitica. 
I hope I'm saying that. Y'all, y'all know Luvitica, Luvitica, Luvitica. Thank you, Luvitica. That's your name, Luvitica, mother daughter duo. Girl, just start your channel. Be yourself. It's fun. It really is fun. Just start your channel. I mean, it's a lot of work. I ain't gonna tell you it's gonna be easy, but it's a lot of work. But you can do it. I girl, when I tell you when I first started, I'm telling you my videos are my first videos is so cringy. It's so I cannot stand them. And I'm gonna tell you why. It's because y'all, it's a process in this YouTube thing. I mean, you're not gonna have all the equipment, you're not gonna have all the finances. You start from somewhere, and you know, I look at myself on those videos, and I just be like, what was I saying? Do you know how many takes I had to do? Because I did, I wasn't, you, 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 it's really like, you, we are human, we all are human. And it's like when you're going out there, you're putting yourself out to the world, and it's almost like you're afraid of the unknown. You don't know what people are going to think of you, how people are going to receive you. And when I tell you that, girl, it can be tricky, tricky, tricky. But anyways, you got to get comfortable with the camera. It's going to take time to get comfortable with the camera. And once you become one with that camera, girl, ain't nothing going to stop you. Ain't nothing going to stop you. I used to look at that camera and I'm like, girl, pretend. And I used to tell myself this. You're talking to a girlfriend. It's okay. You're talking to your mama. It's okay. You're talking to Nate. You're talking to your, 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 your kids. You're talking to your family. You're talking to your friends. And I literally gained a relationship with my camera. Me and my camera is one. We got this relationship thing. We got this thing going on with that eye lens. You know what I'm saying? I look, in, I look into his eyes. He look into my eyes. We glazing. We, 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 we interacting. We becoming one. And we have built this relationship over the years. And now I can go in front of anybody's camera. That's why y'all can see me do these interviews. I be doing these news interviews. I can't think of a whole fat camera crew could come to me. And it's almost like I'm not in front of a camera. Because I be like, I'll be looking in front of the camera and just start talking. Because really ain't nobody there. You know what I'm saying? You got to put that in your mind. Ain't nobody really there, but they is there. They ain't there, but they is there. You know what I'm saying? They ain't there right now, but they going to be there. Within the six weeks or so, because if you do it on doing um uh rate, I mean, we're well, not radio. What I'm saying, TV. Y'all, it be taking like them eight weeks, a couple of months to be able to put that stuff up. So it takes a while, but once you get in front of camera, it's nothing. But some people get get what you call that camera shop for real. They get in front of cameras and they be like, uh. Uh, uh, I was gonna say, um, and they lose their words, they train the thought, and it's like, why? you can't do that though, y'all. I ain't gonna even lie. When the beginning, when I first started, I was like, oh no, this is not good. It's like you always trying to over pronounce words, overdo, over this, over that, because you don't know what people are And I got to the point, like, I'm like, forget this mess, I'm gonna be me. I don't care what y'all think, it is because I have more fun of being myself doing this thing on my own and not really worry about what you think and you think and you think it's like just be yourself just woosa and go girl go girl go girl do it and have fun with it don't think about it have fun with it don't worry about it as long as you don't do nothing that really try to offend anybody you know what i'm saying because sometimes you can say things and you don't mean it that way but sometimes the world we live in, people are very, very highly sensitive, and they take things, they can take things a whole different way, and you're like, wow, I didn't even mean it that way, and they have to go run with it, and then, you know, especially people that don't like you, that, that's trolling, they'll say whatever they want to say, and you know you didn't mean it that way, and it's like, but the people that loves you know you didn't mean it that way, so they just look at them like they're crazy. But yeah, y'all, it's a lot that you need to learn in this thing, and a lot of this stuff, I'm gonna, uh, Put in my book because I just really want to share a lot of things because there's a lot of things that people don't realize that come with the YouTube being a social media um, influencer that people don't understand. Thank you, Kay. Who's that? Love you. Been watching since the Red Kitchen. Thank you, Kayla. Exo. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, they even you been you been watching for a very long time, maybe four years because that I started the kitchen four years ago. That was one of my first videos of uh, cooking videos. And you talking about kitchen, you talking about cooking videos. That's good, girl. 
Yes, the red kitchen got my attention. Oh, Evangelist Carrie, yes. That's a long time. I've been doing this. It's like four years. It's like it went really, really fast. But it has been such a good run for me. I, I promise y'all, y'all have made this a good run for me. Very, very good. I'm very, very blessed. I thank God for every single one of you, every single view. Every single view, y'all. I've really been blessed by this. And it's the easiest job. I get paid to eat. That, that's not, you can't ask for nothing better. You know, I can eat me a meal, be happy, be on there for 20, 20 years, I mean, 20 minutes or so, and I'm good. You know, I get to meet amazing people, amazing celebrities. And, you know, I always keep it professional. I'm not that person that be like, oh. I try to really, really, I keep everything professional. Me and my husband serve them. We make them feel comfortable. And then, you know, we keep in contact as far as, you know what I'm saying, we want to do another. You never, you never want to burn your bridges with anyone. You always want to keep it a professional. If everything you do on YouTube, yeah, you got to treat it like a business. A business, y'all. My thing's falling. Because if you don't, you mess yourself up in the end. People don't know how important it is that this is a business, this is a brand. And if you start off wrong, gossiping, your, 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 your channel's messy, you will never go nowhere. You will never, ever get them brand deals. You will never, ever get them sponsorship and get paid the good money. I'm talking about good, good money. You and your channel will never grow. Your channel will always be in a shadow band. In a shadow band, y'all. In a corner somewhere. Ain't nobody going to be able to shine that light on it. Because it's going to always stay stagnant. And a lot of people don't understand that. Okay, let me stop. Let me talk. What was that? Hey, B, any collaborations coming soon? Would love to collab with you. I am a recording artist and would love to collab. You know what, Roosevelt? I am doing, I'm not doing any collabs right now because of the COVID. But there's so many of you that want to do collabs. And I, I, have, I went up recently before this uh, COVID. I was just doing collabs with celebrities because it was more safer, more better for what I was doing because of what has happened in the past. So I only do... You know, celebrities that are known and people, I know them, you know what I'm saying? Um, but for now, I'm just holding back on the uh, class until this COVID thing is over with. And I revisit that. When it happens again, revisit it. But I have my studio out in, um, in Atlanta. Oh, Peach. I don't know how to say your name, but Peach, thank you so much. Your video with DDG helped me become successful. That's what's up. And that's why I do with celebrities, because celebrities have been through a lot. Um, and whether what, I mean, whether, I don't know what, you know, a lot of them have stories, success stories of what has made them successful. And I think there's good, a lot of good things that they can share with my audience of how they became successful, what they did to become successful. Because you have a lot of people that are aspiring actors, people that want to be music uh, musicians, want to do music, singers, want to be um, all types of things, comedians. So want to know about reality TV. So they have a lot to share. The people that I've done things with have had a lot to share, and you guys love them, you know? And it was interesting. And I, you would be surprised how the thing, I met a lot of them in person, and they're not like who they are in the media. The ones you think that's messy, messy, ain't that messy. But it's almost like they have to keep up, uh, you know, keep up this persona or uh, the way they are. And on camera because that's how they get their views and that's their brand you know what I'm saying but some of them um, you know are just chill see me I can't I don't know if I can ever be that person or be play two people gotta be messy on camera there'll be a normal life off camera and be chill no that's too much energy just let me be myself all the way around I'm gonna be myself on Camera, off camera, let me just be Bethany, okay? That's all. Just let me be me. That's all. What? Let's see. Blessings for the bars. Baby love, what's your thoughts on your brother chilling with Walt? 
I think he needs to get back with Cindy and lead the Nisha girl. And you know what? Let me just tell y'all this. My brother, I am his sister, right? That's my blood. That's my, we got the same father, same mother. So we grew up, me and my brother close. But however, my brother is 45. I'm just a year older than my brother, y'all. He is 45 years old. Y'all, when I tell you that my brother made, I let him make his own decisions. I can't live his life for him. He has his own life. I never, ever get involved in my family's life. They're, they made their own decisions. Now, I could say, you know, whatever. It's not me to make a decision about who he's with. Because I don't know his heart, who he love, or what they've been through. or Because I don't live with them. I don't know their relationship. I know he was with Cindy. Him and Cindy's not together anymore. And um, he's with somebody new. I don't know her. But I don't, I don't even watch their videos, watch the videos to know who she is or what she's like. I've never talked to her or anything, but that's his life. My brother, let me tell y'all, he likes to keep secrets from me. And he know I ain't going to watch his videos to find out what's going on. But he likes to keep secrets from me because I'm very, I'm more of that bossy sister. He said I love his mom. I'm, I act like his mama, but we only a year apart, y'all. And so I just let him live his life because he's a grown man. And I'll let him be, and that's why we can get along so well. I'm not that sister. I'm not a helicopter sister. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got to be all in what you win because I don't want nobody to be all what I'm in. Me and my husband's relationship is between me and him. And I think things last longer that way when you don't got everybody involved. Everybody got they say so because I'm grown. He grown. Do your life. I'm doing my life. Stay in your lane. I stay in mine. Period. Okay. Because you will be less stressful. You will be less stressed and everything. And you just pray about, I pray about everything. You know, if she's not right for my brother, in the end, it would tell, let me tell y'all something. One thing I do know, my brother ain't stupid. Y'all think he crazy. Y'all think he's slow. That boy ain't slow at all. I know a lot of stuff about my brother. And I know a lot, of, my brother, he's re very, very, he's very, very real. He's, a, he's very, very real. He keeps things 100. He speaks his mind. But at the same time, my brother know who to trust and who not to trust, who to tell something to, who not to tell something to. And Walter will hold back. He will tell you what you think you want to hear, but it ain't what you really need to hear. It ain't what you want. He wants you to hear, but he will tell you what he needs to tell you. But my brother is smarter than, smarter than what a lot of people think. And he ain't going to take a lot of mess. He ain't. He like me, he like his chill time. If somebody's gonna be in the way of him, you know, his positivity, taking his taking his energy away and always negative, he gonna leave it and go to the next. My brother's a runner. He'll be like, okay, you ain't working out, I'm leaving. And Walter will go so fast and be so fast around. You saw me, that boy, that boy, I'm telling y'all, y'all don't know him like I know him. And he try to keep things from me, like I said. He think he can keep a lot of things from me because he know I'm gonna get him. I be like, Walter. And he's like, I don't want to hear your mouth. So I said, okay, it is what it is. Let him. I love him. I love him. Whatever decision he make, well, whoever makes him happy, it is good with me. Sherry said, I know Walter ain't stupid. I can tell you. Like, I'm telling y'all. Yeah, I mean, people think that you know. Walter's got a lot of street smarts because Walter had to be out there on his own. So he got a lot of street smarts, but people don't understand that. And he does he's not a stupid person. He knows what's up. You ain't going to use Walter. Walter ain't going to tell you everything that he got in his pocket. I'm going to tell you that. I mean, he, um, even though if he did get a, 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 a ring for Cindy and they were trying to, you know, get to that point, things didn't work out. And I promise you, everything that we do in our lives, we learn lessons from. And I'm telling you, eventually... You know, he'll get to the point where he's like, I'm not going to do that no more. Listen, I made that mistake. I'm not going to do that again. So he probably won't do that as fast and try to, you know. But my brother love women. I'm going to tell you that. He said that all day long. He like, Bethany, I love women. What you want me to do? <laughs> he's so silly. I said he crazy. Lisa's family and friends, Maven. Thank you, Lisa's families and friends. Listen, I be like, my brother, he a man, y'all. He's a man first. He love women, and it is what, and all these women be coming after him. Don't ask me why. I don't even know why they be in my DM trying to get my brother. I be like, what is wrong with y'all? Y'all want Walter? Y'all want chilling with Walt? That's because he's my brother, and I don't see 
where y'all see him, I'm like, oh my God, why do these women want him? Yeah, probably for his money. Walter, my brother makes good money on YouTube doing what he's doing. He don't let you, he ain't got to tell y'all what he make. People can think all they want to think, but let me tell y'all. I'm happy that I was just able to put my brother, get my brother a YouTube channel, I mean, put him on. I started him out. I got him what he needed to get started, and he's doing good, and I'm proud of him. And where he has, you know, taken this thing, and he has been faithful, and he has doing, he's doing very, very well for himself. And I'm proud of him, you know, when he's taking himself, so. And I ain't standing nobody's business. I don't babysit. I don't look at none of my relatives. Whoever's on my sons, I'm not even over their channel. I don't, I let them do what they want. They grown men. Now, I probably would get on Darius more because I'm still paying his bills. You know, as far as, as far as his uh, schooling, school bills and stuff like that. But Dalvin, I don't be in Dalvin's business at all. He is a grown man. He pays his own bills. That that boy, dang near 30. I, that's why y'all be looking at me like, why you treat Dalvin different than Darius? Well, Dalvin is a grown man. He grown, grown. Darius is a little bit more, okay, he just got out my house, y'all. Just got out my house. You know what I'm saying? I still pay his bills. He just not getting to the point where, okay, I get to pay my own phone bill. He's paying his own car note. He got his own insurance he paid for because he got his car on his own. And that was something, you know, he was happy to do that on his own. And I was happy for him too. But he's only 20. So in my mind, he's still, he's still young. He's going to still make some decisions that ain't going to be so good. But, you know, we don't lead and guide him. But at the same time, I let him be grown on some things. On some things. Thank you, Billy. Who was that? Billy. What Billy said. Thank you, Billy. Hey, Bethany. How you become a millionaire? How I become a millionaire? Doing YouTube. Doing YouTube. My sauce. I mean, doing YouTube, I became a millionaire after I think, 18 months of doing YouTube. And then um, my sauce made us a multi-millionaire. So I make multiple millions because of my sauce. It has um, expanded us. And then uh, me, of course, doing brand deals, sponsorships. I do other things on the side. So that's how I make my money. So y'all, y'all see me on YouTube, but that's not the only income I make. I make more on my sauce business than I do on YouTube. And so that's why people pretty confused, like, huh, what the heck, she ain't, no, she ain't. Y'all see, I mean, I would never be able to achieve this. Of the, all the things that I do, I do, and what I have done, and things that I'm able to do, and even my sauce business, you know, do a lot, of, without my sauce business and YouTube, I just make, you know, that's how I make my living. Thank you, she living. Oh, she living. Um, when will we be in um, Atlanta? The end of this month? Okay, the end of this month. I'm going to give you the exact dates, um, She Living. The exact dates. I'm going to give you, I'm going to contact you this week. So you will know. Hey, Peach. How do you stay consistent even when views are down and when life is happening? Um, Peach, you know what? I came to realization that you are not, do not pay attention to those views. Views are not your friend because YouTube has an algorithm and sometimes they change their algorithm and YouTube has changed their algorithm over the years. It used to be the more you post, the more bigger you get and everything is all about how long people stayed on your channel and then they switch the algorithm up. So it does not matter. At this point, when you start YouTube, you have to know that first off, you don't want to let down your supporters. Your supporters are your everything. You don't want to let them down. And number two, you want to keep yourself relevant. Number three, um, YouTube is it's supposed to be fun. And that's it's a fun for it's fun for me, but also I know I can keep myself relevant. This is my job. It's like going to a nine to five and I treat it as such. You know what I'm saying? I have to get things done. So I have recently just went down to like my, my four days a week. The other three days, I'm doing other things. I'm writing a book. I'm working on products. I may be doing things like um, doing brand deals, working just working on other things that I need to do in order to, you know, 
make more money in the background outside of YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Because YouTube, it may, don't put all your baskets, your, your, your beans in one basket or whatever you want to say, but you don't want to put everything in one basket. You want to be able to um, venture out to do other things, but I'm going to tell you, the money has kept me consistent. The people has kept me bit to be consistent. And I love what I do. It is what it is. It's natural to me because I eat every day. So it's, it comes natural. And I don't pay attention to the views because at the end of the day, see, people don't understand. They think that, oh, you got low views. You don't make no money. But they don't understand. The more videos you make, the more money you make. I got over 1,400 videos that still getting viewed today. I got videos that have been viewed from four years ago people still watch. There's people that has just now joined me and found me three months ago and said, I started your videos, started watching your videos from the beginning. And they watch all 1,400 of those videos. So when you have that, people doing that, you making money on top of money on top of money. So you're making money in your sleep. And people just think that, oh, now you don't make money. No, you're still making money off of older videos. The more videos you upload, so pretty soon, by the end of this year, I'll have what? Like 1,700, maybe eight, close to 1,800 videos or more that I have. And you know what I'm saying? That people can view. So, and if you just do the math, and say, if I can make $2 off of each video or $3 a day off of each video. See, you get paid for a video that you post, but you also get paid for all the other videos. So you, you get thousands of dollars off of all the videos you get getting viewed, plus the video you upload, you get thousands of dollars off that, plus your, your brand deals, plus your, uh, uh, your sponsorships. See, I have a management team that gives me all of my sponsorships and my brand deals and things like that. So they work on my behalf too, and I and I and I get my money from my sauce, my product, which sells a lot. So that's what goes on in my that that I'm doing on the background. And then when I do my book, of course, that's gonna be money. And then I'm making other stuff that you guys don't know I can't talk about. But that stuff too, you know, everything that you do, you have to make yourself a whole brand. It's not easy. But I just say don't stress out about the views. Don't stress out about that because it is not. It's about building those people that really, really love you. That you know your subscriber, your supporter base, your supporters that's going to really, really, really support you. Because those are the ones that are your ride or die. So when you come out with a product... They going to support you like never before. But you also got to market yourself on Instagram, Facebook, wherever you need to um, market yourself, you need to do that. Like, I don't turn down any interviews. I do news interviews. So that's why you see me on Excess Hollywood, CBS News, United Kingdom. I'm on Germany News. I'm on every news station that you could think of. I have them coming to my house, and I do that. They don't pay me, but I know that's going to put me out there and give me publicity and always make me relevant and a household name. So you do what you can to make yourself relevant. And you will never, ever lose it, okay? Because it's a blessing upon blessing. People always want, think, you know, when you do interviews and you got to have some money, money, money. No, you to get your story out there. So I have done things with a lot of people in the media and they want to work with me because I'm not messy. They want to work with my channel because I am consistent. They want to work with my channel because I am positive. Keep your channel positive. You don't have to do all that cussing. You ain't got to do all that other stuff because let me tell you, people say, well, I want to cuss. If you want to cuss, that's fine. But just know this, you're limiting yourself. You're limiting yourself from getting more sponsorships, brand deals. Different people are not going to want to work with you. You're not going to get the high ads. You're not going to get the premium ads because they're going to give you the low grade ads is making this much money. You're going to be like, wow, I didn't get nothing on my essence because you cussing, you talking about politics, you, you roasting somebody, you dragging somebody, you having somebody for lunch and dinner because you messy. You ain't going to get the good money. So my thing is, at the end of the day, keep it professional. If you go to your job from 9 to 5, you don't cuss your boss out. You ain't cussing your customers out. You refrain from cussing people out. Do that for 30 minutes in a video. If you cuss, bleep it out. I don't care if you said, well, it's me. I don't want to get rid of me. Okay, don't get rid of you. I'm not asking you to do that. But if you do want to be yourself and you want to cuss, go ahead and cuss. But no, know this. You limited yourself from becoming 
making that money money. I'm trying to tell you, a lot of people don't know that. They take this thing for granted and they just, like, I want to do me, I want to feel free. Well, yeah, do you. Okay, be gossipy. Do you. More ease! Boom, 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 more ease! Grab your snacks to your trees. Boom, boom, boom. Say hi to Agnes! Welcome to the Lifetime Madness! Hey, Queen! Boom, boom, boom for me and Agnes. We can't wait for the butter sauce madness. LOL, stay blessed. Thank you, More East. I appreciate you. Y'all check out More East. She's beautiful. Her and her daughter. Amazing. Yes, I am going to let y'all know when that garlic sauce butter hits. Hey, I love More East. What are your thoughts on the COVID vaccine? Oh, no, girl. I ain't getting it. I said that in my video. I'm not getting it. And you know what, y'all? Because I just can't. Let me tell y'all something. I don't know what's in it. My thing is, why would I take a vaccination shot when I know that I cannot take my, I still can get COVID, number one. Number two, I can't take my mask off. I can't go anywhere I please. And I don't know what these people putting in that, that thing for it to say that you still can get it. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not volunteering for that. I've never even took the flu shot. And I never get sick, so I ain't had it thus far. Thank God. Thank you, Jesus. But, no, nah, we not taking that. What? Why? Whatever. I know why you're saying it. Because you're trying to take that out. Anyways. Shawty's. Hey, look, ATL, hashtag ATL, shawty, child, dude. Miss Carter said, I know, I don't know. Let me go to the bottom. Just Bambi, though. I love you, Just Bambi. April Jones, hey, everyone. What are you eating good today, beloved? Life with Kiki and B. I am just, my husband's cooking now. Some chicken breast, sauerkraut, and I'm going to eat some beets. And it may sound nasty, but I love beets, y'all. And I love sauerkraut. And sweet potato. A sweet potato. Is it a loaded sweet potato? Well, I want some butter and some brown sugar. And I know that's bad, but y'all got to have that in my, my sweet potato. That's what I'm eating. I'm not even doing a video. So I'm eating vegetables and proteins today. I'm not taking it either. They won't have me toxic. <laughs> T. Gary said that. Oh, no, that's right, girl. Her, she eats good. Oh, okay. Her, she eats good. Y'all be having these names, man. I tell y'all, when y'all pick y'all names, make sure y'all names are good enough for if you ever try to be in the media and they want to do a, a story on you, you want to have that name that hits, you know, that's a, that's a name that really can be uh like a social media type of style you know what i'm saying swag you have a swag to it because y'all don't want you don't want to have no name to be like yeah uh yeah i had an interview with her she me east and them and though and though and they too and they too and it too and y'all just no <laughs> But anyway, Hershey, Hershey Eats Good is a very good name. It's not, it's not long, long, long. But I'm telling you, you got a long, long name, I like a whole sentence. No, they ain't going to read all that. You want people to know, know, know who you are. So remember, be careful when you pick your name. Make sure that it's straight to the point and sleek. Start from New York, Inc. Beautiful diamond. Yeah, I did. I, I, I had a... I had a mukbang with Sky and um Sky and who is the name? I can't even think of the other guy. Y'all, I'm so old school. So listen, what's his name, baby? You talking about from Black King? Yeah, Sky. You can't even think of it. You tell us You know what I'm saying, You know what I'm saying? You tell us something. You talking about the guy from Black King? You know who I'm talking about? Oh, uh, uh, Caesar. Caesar, yeah. Please, yes, I want to collab with It's So Good. It's so good. I was Miriam. I was supposed to collab with um Miriam. I wanted to do one with Miriam and 
queen beast. I was supposed to go with her queen beast for a long time ago, but we never did get, get back to Florida. Tommy Bites Homestead. Hey, b -Lo. Hello. Hello, Tommy Bites. Tommy Bites! How you doing? Yeah, I know your videos. They came up with a shot too quick. Doreen, a shot? Three happy plates! Hey, three happy plates! Oh, Peach, I watched your my first YouTube check video, super helpful and motivated, and I was thinking of doing one. Do you ever regret talking about how much money you make? No, Peach, I don't. Because the media knows how much. I was in the New York Times, and they did a, a whole spread on me. And Access Hollywood, they had to, they had to check, fact, check me and make sure that I made what I made. And so that video was aired because they had to, well, the New York Times, they made sure I was a millionaire doing YouTube. So that's facts because New York, um, the New York Times is not going to print nothing that's, that's, you know, fake or whatever. And so they was going to know anyway. So that's why my name is so big out there. So I don't regret it because I think that it's motivational for a lot of people, motivation for a lot of people. And that's why everybody, their mama got a move on channel. Everybody make move on channels now. But it, I do, I'm just grateful that I was fortunate enough to be able to do it, start my channel, and I made it popular in the United States. I wasn't the first one that did mukbangs. However, I'm, I am the highest paid mukbanger out there. So it was a very good, um, very good thing for me to start when I did start. And I'm very fortunate and blessed, you know, from it. So... That's why I don't care about what people know what I make and they got my, you know, of what I make and they think I make and all that stuff of my, my net worth, as you said, as you can see. So I don't regret it because I think it's a motivation for a lot of people. Hi, beloved. I, I did a video cooking your sauce for my husband's birthday seafood boy. God bless. Okay, Ron Ness Hustle and Soul. Send that to me at belovestocook at gmail.com and I put it on my community post. So I can get you some views, girl. Not views, but some maybe more supporters. Because a lot, a lot of my supporters will watch it. They want to see, see what you think about it, you know? And sometimes they will just subscribe and support your channel as well. So, Where's my thing at? Oh. The Quiet Storm. Oh, yes. The Quiet Storm. Is it going to be The Quiet Storm W. Brown? I think The Quiet Storm is good. Yes. That's a good name. The Quiet Storm. Remember, baby, what was that name that we had? Did we used to listen to The Quiet Storm? Yeah, back in the oh, day. Oh, on 107.5 GCI, The Quiet Storm. That used to back be the, the hit. Back in the day, you listen to that at nighttime. They play all the love songs and the hits. Man, and it's raining outside, y'all. Y'all hear them rain up, you hear all them love songs. It'd be so nice. Yeah, the Quiet Storm is a good name. Amber Marie. Hey, TT Bethany. Hey, Amber. If I started not. Oh, yeah, that's say I read that. Bahamian Kid. Oh, I like that. Hey, B Love. Y'all so positive in these. These chat, this is amazing. I love the positivity. EY, here's a love gift from me to you. Oh, thank you, EY. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Are you going to make a how-to video for the garlic sauce once it drops? I already did a how-to video, but I just didn't show what I just show, show, you know. No, I'm not going to show you all the ingredients, but I just showed you the ingredients that was given to me from my manufacturer, and then I made it. Yeah, oh, oh, Jasmine, yeah, I'm going to do a, after it's, it's lunch, I'm going to do one. So after, you, after I get the packet, I'm going to tell y'all what to do when you get it, when you get the, I'm sorry, I got something in my eye. But when you get the packet, yeah, I'll show you what to do, sure, Jasmine. When it drops, yeah. Hi, Nady B. What's your plans for the Get Fit With Me? Huh? What you say? What's the plans for the what? For Valentine's? We were talking about going to the range. I can't say the other part on it. 
the three letter word range we ain't trying listen y'all we tried to get some um somewhere with the uh uh, for Valentine's Day, everything, everybody's book, 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 book. But that's okay because we're celebrating our stuff in um, Miami. That's why we're going to Miami. We were going to go earlier, but since we're getting things done to the house, we have to postpone it. So we'll just be lying out a few days later after the fact is celebrating. I think it'd be better that way anyway because there's going to be a lot of people there. Adrian Williams. Hi, beloved. How can I... Send a request to have you on a podcast episode to share your story and spread encouragement. We love your channel. Um, I don't know. You probably have to email my husband, my business email. B loves the the word two. Oh, what is it? <laughs> I don't even know my business. Hey, look at my business. All you gotta do is look in my about to about section and uh, and um in um. In the YouTube, and it tells you my business. My business email, and you can email my um, husband, which is my manager. Baby love, you look beautiful, just Bambi though. Um, you are being some in, in that other section, that of YouTube. What? Thank you, beauty Bella. You said Bambi though, you being summoned in that other section, that of YouTube. What? Bambi though. Don't mess with my Bambi though. Lou, but all you bless you. Um Reese Cup 43. Hey be love. Your videos are so inspiring and positive. You made me start my channel two years ago, but because of family issues, I have to continue. I'm going to start them back up. I watch I Thank you, Reese Cup. Yeah, when when you have family issues, I know it can get hard, y'all. It gets hard. But I this is why I always say that you have to when you treat them when you have a uh doing YouTube, you just gotta have videos um in the chamber. You know what I'm saying? Have videos in the chamber. Extra videos. Always have extra videos because you never know when a family emergency comes up or you wanna do go on a vacation or maybe you have a doctor's appointment or maybe some days you're not gonna feel so well. You know, maybe you come in your menstrual and you feel like, oh, I'm so lethargic. I don't want to do anything today. Maybe you have to have a cleaning day and clean your house. And you just really don't want to do a lot of work. So that's when you have to have a uh, amount of videos in the chamber. So you can have those sick days. You can have those grieving days. You can have those vacation days, holidays, or whatever. Just have it so you can be able to put it out there. So it, this is a real job. And I think that people, uh, you know, look at YouTube and, oh, it's just YouTube. It's just, but YouTube, when you look at going into YouTube, looking at it as a real profession, a real job, you will treat it as such. And you are your own boss. You your own boss, meaning you got to be harder on yourself than anything. Shoot, I be on it. I be like, yep, yep, yep. Oh, speak, vision, speak. I like that. Thank you so much for your cameo on the Poetry Channel. Oh, yes, I remember you. It helped me so much. I'm doing a poetry video about you and your family. Oh, yes. Send that to me. I'll put that on my community post. Email me when you're finished, Speak Vision Speak. I love your poetry. And I love your background. When you, you, you will have, she will have amazing, like the waters in the background or the trees. It's just amazing the things that she picked just when she's doing her poetry. It's amazing. I like it. I love it. And she goes deep. Y'all know that deep deep? Look at my look at my stuff in my, my thing. Look at my shirt. I look like a, 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 a sickle. An icicle. Yeah, she goes really deep, y'all. And I love it. Yeah, I'm not gonna keep y'all too much longer. You probably be on here. How much much more time is the food? About 10 minutes. I got about 10 minutes, y'all. And I'm going to watch my favorite show, Mary. Mary, that first sight, come on tonight. Woo, 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 woo. Can't wait, can't wait, can't wait, can't wait, can't wait. I recorded it, though. I got it on record. What time is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, I got my phone right here. Y'all, I got two phones, two, two phones, two, 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 two phones. I, that's why I can't read nothing. <gasps> 
Thank you, Kayla. Water break. Water, 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 water break. Hey. Water break. Water, 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 water break. <laughs> Thank you, Kay. Kayla. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. VA Mumba Queen. Thank you. Hello, we love. We miss you on Bigo. We love you. Thank you, Mumba Queens. Y'all check them out, VA Move On Queens. They are on YouTube, they are on Facebook, they are on Bigo, they everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere. Yes. Thank, and you know what, VA, the Move On Queens, I was on Bigo like a week ago. I did a, a live. I know y'all probably missed it. I was on there for about a, a couple of hours checking in. But I'll be back. I'll probably be back in March. Maybe. I'm not sure. Maybe. Maybe. But we'll see. Because I'm not, I'm not going to be on there if, if I'm not, you know, why I'll be on there. Well, I'm not going to be on there like that if I'm not, you know, under contract. That's what it is, under contract. Tristan Bell, thank you, Tristan Bell, for buying my sauce. I appreciate you. Just bought your sauce on Amazon. Thank you. Dang, we missed it. Please come back. Okay, VA Queen. I might come, I might um, sneak in on y'all. I had to sneak in on y'all because I enjoyed my I enjoyed being on y'all live when I was on there. Bigo is fun, but it's a lot of drama. Oh, it's so much crazy stuff going on. Bigo and I and y'all people are telling me all the scoop that went down since I've been gone. I'm like, huh? What? What? All this stuff be like danger. What the heck? This stuff be. I called it beans. It is beans. What you mean for the money you get over there? Yeah, you can, you get beans over there. But you can make a lot of money on Bigo. It's like I was on there and I wasn't even I wasn't even active like that. I tell y'all when I tell y'all I have gone through twelve hours. I was not active like that, and I still got over three million beans. And three million beans over there needs twenty four thousand dollars plus getting paid from the agency so it depends on how many people give you stuff and gifts you and stuff so you can get a lot so 24k and if you get money from you a big old get on salary for big old you can make pretty decent amounts and i mean anybody can make it over there you do is be really be a person that's really faithful and really really you know doing your thing over there. Your thug fizzle. Your thug fizzle, as my husband would say. Hey, yeah, more ease. Just for the mild sauce. Thank you. Thank you. Ole Diva 57. Oh, you call the app Beans? Yeah, it's Bigo. It's called Bigo. <laughs> she said Beans. Hey, Becca. Hey Yolanda, you are very informative and inspirational. Thank you. Yeah, that's why, y'all. This book, yeah, and I know a lot of y'all gonna buy that book. That that book, I'm putting my all into that book. And I told, I don't, I don't care how much time it takes, I'm going to get that book. And I'm gonna put everything that I know. I'm not holding nothing back that I want you to know in that book to be successful in YouTube. I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm pretty much saying my experience is my experience of what I've been through, the things that I've done, um, you know, maybe the stuff that I've been through that I should, probably should have did differently or maybe couldn't do differently, you know, just some advice that I'm going to give. And it's going to be raw. It's going to be raw. It's going to be me. And you're going to know it's me talking because it's going to be me, me, you know. I may say some goofy outbursts in it here and there, you know me. Bust out singing a song. <laughs> hey, da 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 da. da. <laughs> Who knows? But anyways, I'm just gonna be me, and I think the book is gonna be very informative. And I'm not going. I'm not gonna. I'm really gonna put all my time and energy in it, and I don't care how long it takes because I want good quality stuff to go out there. I just want it to be very informative for people, and more of a. Uh, 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 a book of uh, uh, um, inspirational book I want to inspire people I even want to have a prayer in the beginning to bless those that read that book to become successful in, in, in whatever they do and just as long as you're consistent and you do what you need to do 
in the YouTube guidelines as far as the algorithm. If you need a system, anything you be consistent with, you gonna make it. You gonna make it. Eventually, you gonna make it. I don't care how long it takes. But you gotta put yo. You have to work this thing all the way around. It's more than YouTube. It's more than you know. It's Instagram. It's Facebook. It's it's all types of social media outlets. So you have to make yourself well known in every arena to get yourself out there. Hey Tinder, you look so happy and pretty in your bag and free the energy. Thank you, Tinder. Yolanda, I can't wait to buy your book. Thank you. I can't wait for y'all to see the book. I can't wait. You know what? Like I said, I'm going to take my time, but I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited about it, y'all. Very excited about it. I want to go on a book tour. I wish this COVID thing would be over. I want to travel and go to book tours so I can meet you guys, sign the book and everything. But, yes, yeah, so I'm going to tell y'all, woo, my ups and downs. My ins and outs, even down to taxes, being responsible for your taxes, how to conduct yourself, the code of ethics for YouTube. You know, all of it is I'm gonna get down to the nitty gritty. The nitty 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 gritty. Break it down, break it down, break it down. Break it down. Break it down, break it down, break it. Y'all see I'm getting sleepy. I guess that coffee went off. It's went off your girl. And I'm finna eat, y'all. So I'm finna go in a minute. Hey, Lolita. I brought both sauces and the water bottle. Hey. I love my water breaks. <laughs> you are so beautiful. I love you and your family. God bless. Thank you, Lolita. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, y'all, water break. I still get money. Every bottle, I, I still make money off of that, too. So, Get y'all water bottle. Water break. Water, 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 water break. Hey, yes. Buy your water bottle, y'all. Buy y'all water bottle. Get it, get it, get it. That water, that water bottle, I promise you, y'all, that about that water bottle, y'all know that stuff lasts. Yo, you put some ice in that thing, it lasts for a few days. I promise you, I can put ice in my water bottle and leave it there with the ice. The next day, all I gotta do is put add water to it, the ice is still there. Kid you not. And then, might, if I do a video the next day, the third day, in the morning, the ice will still be a little clunk of ice at the bottom. A clunk of it so the ice still be there and it can still be cold. Cold water, y'all. I ain't lying. I ain't lying. And I got a lot of the water bottles I got, but all my water bottles are uh, personalized, so they have B Love's Life up on them, and I use them. They're very, very good to use to get your hydration, to get hydrated. Thank you, Milani. Bonita, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Move On Queens. We need to collab once COVID is over. You know what? I know I got so many people that want to collab, y'all. We we gonna see. I'm gonna see what I can do. Cause when I tell you my list is so long, it's huge. I got so many people. So we'll work, we'll try to work something out. When this 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 if COVID would ever be over, if we ever go to normal. And we ever go back to normal, y'all. And what you say, T. Gary, the crab lover said, okay, yes, hurry up, Nate, before her head hit the table. She's sleepy. Have a great evening. Enjoy your show. Nate, keep doing what you do. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What's for dinner? We're having baked chicken, well, grilled chicken. Air fried. Air, fry, air fried chicken. That's healthy. Air fried chicken, sauerkraut. I'm going to eat some beets with mine. I'm going to have sauerkraut beets and sweet potatoes. A sweet potato. I'm going to have a. I'm going to have mine loaded though. Because. No, it ain't mine. I, like, I don't want no. I want to see the sweet potato loaded. What you got the lemon slaw? Girl, I'm going out again over here. See, when my husband get hungry, he always trying to add something different and new. It smells good in here, y'all, though. It smells good. Yeah, I'm having all of that for dinner. 
I'm, I'm gonna be piling up on my veggies because one thing my doctor said that I'm in perimenopause, I gotta eat way more veggies. Eat them veggies. Veggies is your friend. Them body, I need to eat veggies and I'm 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 racking up on my veggies. I'm eat. Oh, I love beets. How many of y'all love beets, man? I love me some beets. I love me some um, vegetables, sauerkraut. And I like Tabasco sauce on my sauerkraut. I think I need some more Tabasco sauce, though. I'm running out. Hey, Brianna. Yes, our family is doing good. God bless you, too. Tashana sounds good, yes. It's good. It smells good in here. And y'all know y'all 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 like that kicking chicken seasoning. Kicking chicken is so good. Thank you, Jessica. That kicking chicken is so good, y'all. I've been on here for a long time. I'm so so proud of myself. Cause I didn't do no recording today. So I said, well, let me get on here and spend some time with y'all, my YouTube family. My YouTube fam bams. Melanie said, I'm looking forward to reading your book. Let me know how I can help you. I have a publishing company and help authors market their books. Okay. Oh, nice to know. Email my husband. Well, email my business business uh, email. It's, um, it's in my about section on YouTube. That's nice to know. Yeah, because... Um, we just need all of that when it's all said and done. Hey, hello. This is in the kitchen with Gina Young. Hello. Can you talk about YouTube text slash write offs? That is going to be in my book, y'all. I have a whole, uh, yeah, that's going to be in some one of them chapters in the book. Oh, man. That YouTube write offs and YouTube. Uh, taxes, that's something serious, y'all. Something serious. That a lot of YouTubers don't take serious. Because you know, every the money you get from YouTube is not taxed. They don't take taxes out. So you have to be responsible to take your own taxes out and pay your taxes. I don't care how much you make. Pay your taxes. You know, Uncle Sam, he wants his money. And young Uncle, Uncle Sam get paid a pretty, pretty penny, okay? We pay Uncle Sam a lot, but pay your taxes and be honest. Be honest, be honest, be honest. That's what you want to do. Open you up or something in a bank account and put some a percentage away. But I'm going to have all that, y'all. I'm not going to tell y'all too much because I don't want to tell y'all everything. Y'all be like, oh, I heard this before. I heard that before. No, I don't want y'all to hear everything. Queen Natural said, I got to get off at 7 p.m. My husband will be calling me on this. <laughs> okay, girl, I know about the husband call, the hubby call. When the hubby calls, when the hubby calls, y'all, I understand, girlfriend. I understand. What time is it? Yes. My, what time is my, uh, what time do I think? Come on. Nine o'clock. Baked potatoes for forever, boy. Yeah, them baked potatoes. You ain't know. You probably should have bought them. Mm -mm. It's it tastes longer than the oven. You you push the uh oh, yeah. the knife in. Uh, Milo boss. Any advice on starting a new business? Um. Uh, yes. What's the business? What's the thing? My husband has it. Go ahead. Mm, best advice is to. Can you hear? Oh, oh, come on, man! Oh no, man! My husband's a business. Uh, you know he had, but yeah, this is my advice. So my advice would be, y'all ain't got to see my face. You can hear my voice. Anyway, my advice would be, um, check the laws in the state that you are in first. Check the stack, the tax laws, uh, and especially as it relates to federal laws and federal tax laws because 
the way you incorporate or whatever entity, business entity you decide to become will determine how you are taxed. And that becomes very important, especially as your business begins to take off and make good money because it, it will actually put you in a different tax bracket. And depending on whether or not you are incorporated as a C or subchapter S or you're an LLC or a sole proprietorship, uh, that will really change how you are taxed. And so and I would say do right? your, do mm -hmm. yeah, especially if you're selling products too, I would say do your, your homework, your research on uh, the tax laws in the state that you are in and try to decide whether or not um, or which entity best suits the type of business that you're going to be doing as well as whether or not you're going to have employees mm -hmm. because that's going to make a difference too. Yes. Uh, so if you, if you have a business and you're, you think that you're going to have employees uh, with that business, you know, uh, make sure that you choose the right corporation or the right entity uh, to do because, like I said, it impacts you at every level. And also, once you decide on what entity you, you have, um, you can't change it for five years. Oh, wow. Yeah, so um, within that first, I think within that first, um, I don't know, don't quote me on this, maybe first six months, you can make changes. But once it's in there, it's in there. So like I said, if you are, let's say you start off as an LLC and you switch over to a, a subchapter S or a C Corp, and then the federal government says, hey, we're going to raise taxes on corporations, uh, then now you're being taxed as a corporation where you were being taxed as an LLC, which is going direct to your uh, personal taxes. So it, it, it makes a difference. That is probably the most important thing when picking or starting a business after that. Make sure that you dot all your I's and cross all your T's from a legal perspective on all your documents. Insurance. Make sure all your documents are done and, and, and legal. Make sure you're filed legally everywhere and make sure also that you are um, that you have insurance. Make sure you have insurance. Absolutely, the people will insurance. try to sue and you like, listen. Yes. And then and then be covered. Beyond that. I would say just just know your product and when you do start you know raising up your brand or your product make sure you trademark your product make sure you trademark your logos make sure everything is done legally so that when you start to expand and and, and grow you can grow in places uh, and go places uh, and still have your brand secure yeah that branding and that part for like your trademarks and all that stuff that stuff costs money, y'all. Money, 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 money. Especially when you're talking about international trademarks and all that stuff. I'm talking thousands of dollars yeah. to trademark your, your brand in, in other countries and stuff like that. So just be And it careful. takes a lot of time. Be careful. Take your time and seek legal advice. That's mm -hmm. the best thing that I can tell you. Right now. Seek some legal of the stuff that we, advice. Some of the stuff that he said will be in our book. But it's more stuff than that. But the one thing I'm going to add to that is that when you do um, produce your product and you do get money coming in from your business or whatever, do not spend your profit. Do not touch your profit of that business. Allow that business to have its own bank account with its own profit. I don't care how much it is, how much profit you have made. Do not spend that money elsewhere because it's not your money to spend. It's your money to invest back into your business. And I know that people say, well, that's a no-brainer. No, it's a lot of people that have made that mistake in their life several times. They will go in, spend that money, thinking that that's gonna, it's going to always be that way, and it doesn't. And then you are sitting up there scrambling, trying to figure out how you want to get your business afloat, keep your business afloat, and you just spend all your profit. You got to put back into your business. Do not touch that money. It's not for you to go shopping and on a shopping spree. And you do not touch that. Keep that separate from everything. And account, I mean, and have its own, it should have its own books of what you spend for that business or whatever, your losses, your... Or whatever. Ooh. My wife said three and one was a definite no. The last one? The three and one. The last one, very last one we saw, and the number one. I'm sorry, yeah, I'm talking about something else. 
They put an offer on one already. They did? Yeah. Red Sox. They said definitely no. Mm, not well, yeah, they had an offer, you know, so. Anyway. We will be checking on number two tomorrow. They said the ones they saw today was a definite no. Okay, so yes, y'all, y'all heard it. Uh huh, uh huh. Y'all heard it. Dinner time, dinner time. Yep, dinner time, y'all. Okay, y'all finna go. I love y'all. Nate shares some pointers, but like I said, a lot of this stuff will be on our books. But y'all, it's a lot of stuff that we have been through and we can stop you from going through. Don't make the same things. You know, we haven't really, we have really been blessed on our journey. You know what I'm saying? We have really been fortunate to be blessed. But this stuff, if we did not have our work ethic that we had, then we would have gave up a long time ago. It still takes a lot of searching, researching. What you don't know, pay for. Yes. Best advice I could ever give you. If you don't know how to do something, pay somebody who does. Right, because if, if you don't, you're going to be out a lot of money yes. and out a lot of time. The money you will make you mistakes be and lose would have been easier spent paying for somebody who knows how to do it to get you through it. I'm going to tell y'all, we got some stuff, y'all. If you don't know, pay if for you it. If you don't know it, pay for it. And you will not regret it. It takes money to make money. You got to have that money. You got to have that money. Because like I told you, it took me and my husband 80 to 100,000, six figures to make our first business just to uh, launch our product. It took us a lot. With all, y'all don't even know, and then the mistakes we made along the way as far as getting a, uh, kitchen oh, buying yeah. all the seasonings getting oh, a yeah. six month lease it was like and knowing that we could not handle the bulk because we already have a following you guys understand it's a lot of things that we could have did differently some things that we made along the way that we could just prevent y'all from doing don't even go down our route you it's welcome like, what word law i think it was huh somebody's uh comment. and say so y'all don't even understand we're gonna stop we're gonna tell y'all the mistakes we made like uh don't do that don't do this. b -Love said, don't do that. And we're going to try to give y'all the best advice that we can. And we're just, we're not saying our advice is right. But we're just going to tell you guys what worked for us and what made us the way we are. And it's successful. And we're still going. And we're still having a good run. You know, financially and everything. Yep. So we just want to set y'all up for the goodness, for the long run, for keeping that money and, you know. Keeping it in the family, generational wealth. Passing it on to your kids and your grandkids and your children, 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 children. That's what it's be. That's what it's about, y'all. Setting them, setting it up for them. Because so many times that, especially us as African Americans, we don't think about that thing. We want to leave some money to our children to and hopefully we train them to do the right thing with it to keep it within the family. You know what I'm saying? Success. Success, okay? And we're going to do it. Me and my husband are determined to do it. We already got it set up. You got to get your wheels done. Get your wheels made out. All of that. Train your children to do what's right. We have meetings with our children every week. Well, actually, my husband. They have a meeting every week. They have a FaceTime meeting. And they're thinking about other things to keep this family business going. It is all about... It's done. I don't know. I gotta check it. It's all about keeping it in the family, building an empire. It, that stuff is real. And it's like you have to be serious about it. I don't care if they we just blessed to have both of our sons working for us. And they yes, they are definitely on payroll, but they do things for us that keep this family going, keep this legacy alive, and keep us striving and making that moolah. In the background that a lot of people outside of youtube but y'all that's enough i'm for real that's enough my food is almost done i gotta go i know y'all been on here rocking with me all 1200 y'all or oh, whatever i love y'all i had fun did i read this one already yes i love y'all i had fun and i'm gonna try to probably don't hold me to nothing i ain't gonna say nothing because i be held to everything and y'all be getting on me and I just don't, because I might get mixed up. Or no, I get busy. Not mixed up, but busy. Kayla, can you post your dinner plate on the community page? LL, asking for a friend. Yeah. Yeah, I could. 
Yeah, I'm gonna post it on what well, I'm gonna take a picture of it. You know how I do it. I'm just gonna take a picture of it. I'll take a picture of y'all. This is what Nate made me for dinner. This is my dinner plate. And y'all don't don't be uh, uh looking crazy when y'all see all of this uh vegetables. Cause I like and this is crazy because I got uh I like the sauerkraut and I like beets. They may not go together for y'all, but I love it's like a sweet and sour. Sweet and sour. That's good for me. A piece of meat. But okay, y'all. I love y'all. I may have two plates. Shoot. One plate with the baked potato and number one plate with the vegetables. Vegetables and meat. Peace out. Love y'all. Thank you for tuning in. Love y'all. I'll see y'all tomorrow with the video. Tomorrow I'm going to be eating pho. Yes, I'm eating pho. That's what I'm eating tomorrow. Y'all don't know about pho. It's a Vietnamese like type of soup and I had this big nice what's it bonnie bonnie roll or sandwich pork sandwich or whatever I'm gonna say pork sandwich that I eat and I'm dipping in the fuck it is so good y'all but just tune in for that video and it'll be out tomorrow at eight o'clock as usual and I'll see you guys after that video on um Saturday Saturday um peace out peace love and hair grease love y'all much Oh, no.